Welcome, welcome, welcome back, everybody. I'm here with my dear friend, Marcus. How are you tonight, Marcus? I'm doing good, thank you. He told me before the stream that he's going to cry because we're not playing Park Architect. I told him I, I apologize sincerely. Sitting here with my box of tissues just sobbing. I knew it. I knew it. And then I introduced Marcus to Reddit, so he's going to be lost in the internet for the foreseeable future. What is that you're hauling, Ginger? I am hauling marshmallows. marshmallows. Si silage bales. Silage bales, Marcus. And I believe this one needs to come with me, too. Yes, it does. Nope, 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 nope. That's the other bale loader. Okay. Well... <sighs> Technical difficulties. Let's go over here and grab the other loader. This is why I don't like multiple sizes of bales. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, geez. All right. I'm just dumping these somewhere for now. So I need this loader for many other things. So these are going to come over here. Like that. Yeehaw. They do look like big marshmallows. They do. And then I bought a new bale loader yesterday. As you can see, I switched to like a black saran wrap. That's what we're seeing here with these other ones. So that's pretty cool. Difference in... Uh, I, I like how you can change the wrap color and everything. I think that's pretty neat. So we're going to leave this one here. We're going to pull off. And then grab this other one. Because <laughs> nothing makes sense, right? All in all sorts of types of stuff here and then but no what so what, I, I showed Marcus the reddit because we had posted a little bit about the the survival kits I'm making I put made a few posts on reddit about them and somebody had bought some and left really good feedback so that was really cool good times and then I reordered a bunch of stuff for the kits as well. In anticipation of, I've been saving this, Marcus. I'm sending a product to a, a, a rather decent sized TikTok channel. I'm, I, I, it's lined up to go out tomorrow. So that's pretty cool, right, Marcus? The right, yes. Yes, yes. Surprise. I don't think I had told you that yet. Park this, and that reminds me. Um, geez, I don't remember what it was. I gotta fix something real quick. I gotta schedule another pickup before I forget. What was this? What was this? This first class, okay. Perfect. Last pickup. Okay, good. And we got two packages ready to go. Perfect. So as you can see, the silage is really not worth it. You're not even watching. Marcus, are you even watching? Yes, sir. I'm right here with you. You just, you just ditched a trailer with black marshmallows. Do those look edible? I mean, could you make a marshmallow and put, like, activated charcoal in it and just call it, like, a healthy marshmallow? Cleansing marshmallow? That I do not know, sir. I wonder, man. Some people are all about eating that activated charcoal as a cleanse. Like, they sell it in pill form. And I'm just like, eh. Why? <laughs> Alright, so I'm just doing a little teensy bit of cleanup here, Marcus, before I go start in the wheat. We have a million liters of wheat to haul today, so it's going to be a very long day. On the farm. Look at all these wheat bales over here. There's straw bales, I mean. Excuse me. So we're going to gather these up as much as we can, and we'll sell them as we get them. 
This should be a lot over here. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. These things are going to look huge on this, by the way, Marcus. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Woo! <laughs> Getting it done. <laughs> Did you see that, Marcus? Yeah, look at these things, dude. These things are huge on here. This is the biggest size bale that my baler can make, Marcus, and they're they're it's just straw. It's straw. Yeah, it's just pure straw, and straw does not sell very well, as you can see here. It's a really down day. The high end, you'll see 80 to 90 per 1,000. So each of these bales weighs 7,500. So you'd get, you know, on a good day, seven to 800 bucks a bale. And they're huge. They're the biggest size bale I can make. They kind of look like cinnamon rolls, don't they, Marcus? Just a little uh, bit. I guess. Yeah. Come on, Marcus. Don't even lie. You know they do. You know they do. They're not very heavy. Yeah, they're not. They're not. Not at all. So, yeah. So, I'm sending a can off to this TikTok guy that's got, I think, about 250,000 TikTok followers. Oh, wow. Yeah, and he said, normally, I'd like to try and do an affiliate thing, but... See your new business, and I'm just good looking out. I was like, hell yeah, man, thank you. So he's just he's just going to check it out for free, maybe post a video on it for free, but at least look it over and probably do some kind of video on it, I would think, which is pretty cool. I'm happy with that. And they do make some cool. What's that? They do make some cool farm equipment. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, Marcus, if you were here right now, you'd be running my hay baler, picking up all this straw, making the big bales. But no. You're off in Parkitech. Speaking of Parkitech, Marcus, the, the fireworks are, are the coolest thing. Yeah. They oh, cool. dude. Yeah. Dude, so good. So good. Yeah, I think we'll have fun. With that. Oh, heck yeah, we will. I'm going to do a really nice setup. Yeehaw! So this is gonna be a I'm huge sure, crop. I think the multiplayer part of it, I think it's strictly like sandbox. It might be, which I'm fine with. Uh, the campaign's cool and all, but just having some cr freedom of creativity. We'll set some neat parameters, kind of like what we did with uh, Farm Sim. We'll set some cool parameters, Marcus, and just start building the park out, you know? It'll be fun. Maybe really limit ourselves in starting income. Like, can you set custom settings? Have you looked that closely at it? Uh, I think your custom settings are limited. Okay. Well, if you do happen to look again, let me know what you see. Ooh, and see, so you see what's going on here, Marcus. Uh, I'm, I'm running the field, I'm... And I'm putting down this giant straw swath behind me, so eventually we'll come back through with the baler. Make the 180 centimeter bales, and out of a field this big, I would assume we're gonna get probably 30 to 50 grand in straw. On top of the fact that we're getting grain, and we're getting grain really quickly right now too. As you can see, what's up, Brian? Good to see you. We're only a little bit ways down the lo down the road here, or we're almost done with this first lane, and we're gonna be at 25 percent by the time we hit the end here. Maybe even a bit more. We've missed you in here, Brian. I know it's it's been it's been years now. It's been years since since you've seen your farm, but good to see you, man. What was that? Marcus, did you read that? I didn't even see it. What, what did it say? Oh, thank you, Brian. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I love it. It's funny that the, um, like, the capture software is actually, actually faster than YouTube again. It's been a while since it's been like that. I need to rename Common Citizen, too. I need a better rank for that. I need a better rank title. Like we changed we changed plebeian to cohort. Common citizen needs a name change too, I think. What do, what do you think, just Marcus? Citizen, just citizen. That that's one one tier up. Is citizen. Yeah. Uh low class citizen? I don't. That still sounds insulting, Marcus. Any part anytime you put titles where it shows rank it's going to be insulting someone except the person at the top, which is you, of course, you know. Yeah, you know me so well, Marcus. 
What's up, Rob? Good to see you, man. Oh, we messed that up big time there with our straw swath. Brian, what you been playing lately, brother? You know what? I just realized this one Marcus is breaking down. Oh, you went into it with a bank. No, that sucks, man. If you want, we can reset you, dude. Just let us know. You can you can maybe go a bit a bit smaller with what you acquire. <laughs> There's been good changes today, though. I'm gonna be looking at the machines and stuff here in a little bit. If there's anything worth buying, what is that? A bail loader that eases the collection to mails. How many does that thing hold? That's crazy. Oh, nice. Okay, very nice. It's a really straight line. A really, really straight line here. Marcus, are you impressed with my farming? Talents? Oh, you've gotten a lot better than when you were just putting all the equipment in ditches. And I, I feel and like, I feel like I've gone past it. You need 3.5 mil? What, what happened, Brian? Are you that much in debt with the bank? Ooh, nice, Rob. I'm probably, I'm not shifting games because Marcus and I are about to start playing Park Attack. And I really just want to mess with those fireworks, Marcus. They look amazing. And then the sound that they did in, I don't know if you've messed with them all yet, but the sound that they did for the fireworks is really good. Like, really, really, really good. We're at 67% right now. So this row here should actually... We might not even get done with this row. Ginger, you bought the DLCs, right? I bought the whole thing, yes, sir. I had exactly enough stream, Steam credit. Like, literally exactly enough. Which is nice. And you said you've not messed with the fireworks yet. I really haven't messed with anything. That's perfect. I, 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 I just... I'm, I'm looking at now how to... Uh, how to set up, like, a multiplayer... Okay. No, that's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, you you only... Oh, 550,000. Okay. Yeah, come on back anytime, Brian. We'll, like, whenever Shifty's on and we can get you reset if you want to try again. Oh, I pressed the wrong button again. There's some NFTs unlocking tonight that I'm waiting to see what I got. I keep distracting myself. Marcus, I say we just kind of wing it too, man. I'm not going to watch much in the realm of tutorials, etc. And I'm going to just see how quickly I can learn, honestly. That's what I want to do. What do you think, Marcus? Good idea, bad idea? Uh, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. If I waste all of our money on fireworks, Marcus, how mad will you be? Uh, I'll probably never play anything with you ever, ever again. Ever again? Son of a gun. Ever, ever. Yeah, never, ever. All right, well, worth it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, oh, no, I know, I know. I have to uh, reduce. Okay. 
Did I mention I clickbaited the title, Marcus? I said we're doing a, a million liters of <laughs> of wheat. Oh man, a million liters, guys. I think it'll be about a hundred k. Maybe a little bit less, including what we already did. So I think we'll get about ninety k more tonight. It's probably gonna be substantially less than that, and I'm just like way over thinking how much we actually have done. At least they're thinking haul ass, too. So it's 38 and 39 are all wheat. So I don't know how much wheat that's going to wind up being, but I think we'll do pretty good. Might even be less than that. I don't know. Going as quick as we can, guys. This all done, then we'll come back and we'll turn this all into straw bales, which will in turn be pretty good money. And then I don't know. I'm gonna let Shifty choose the next crop. I don't want to plant anything myself. I might start. I might disc the field though with the big tractor. Oh no, we missed a little bit. How much do I care? Are you looking at the settings, Marcus? Can you, out of curiosity, can you read off the settings if you're logged in? Well, uh, I actually had to log off because in order to invite someone, something with my Steam settings are not right. Oh, okay. But, like, what kind of custom options can you do for the game? Was there a lot to choose from, or you didn't get that far? Yeah, you could you choose the map if you want something that's kind of started already, if you just want a flat piece of land, different sizes. Um, some of yeah, them, uh, something with a little character. How, how many people you want playing with you? Oh, just me and you. Can you set, like, is there, like, a difficulty setting or anything like that, too, or no? That I don't think that there was. Mm. I'm not sure. I uh, probably, there may have been. I didn't get too far until it got to a point where I could invite someone, and then when I tried to, it wouldn't let me uh, do it because of my Steam settings. Interesting. I wonder what need is, needs needs to be changed. Uh, you know what I think it is? I think it's, and I don't know where I'm looking now to see where I can change it, but uh, I think it's where, you know how some people you can see what game they're playing, some people you can't? Yeah. Like me, I think people can see me online, but they don't see what game I'm playing. I'm not and sure I how think, to change that, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I'm looking, how to change it, where you can see what I'm playing. Hmm. That would make sense. Yeah, this is going pretty well. Just slow, slow going. So, you know, it is a lot of grain, but overall not terrible. And then I'm going to probably wind up selling the, the straw tomorrow. Wait, see if that price goes up at all, but I'm going to, I'm going to offload it pretty quickly. 
We'll find somewhere to sell it for a reasonable price. So we got almost four rows in with the first one. No, three rows in. We stopped on the almost the end of the third row. Yeah, we're doing pretty well on the collection here, Marcus. We're getting a good amount. Should get thirty to forty thousand off this field, and then thirty-eight is going to give a really strong amount too. So, only thing we can do at this point, honestly, is get a better, like a bigger harvester. This one's a pretty good size, but we'll need to scale up eventually. I'm most looking forward to like the coaster customization, Marcus. What about you? Yeah, seeing yeah. how user friendly. I know, like um, the one of the roller coaster tycoons. It might have been World. I think it was World when they came. They came out with where you could get to a point building a coaster and just have it automatically completed. Oh yeah, that's cool. I feel like one of us is going to be better with infrastructure than the other, Marcus. So. You're going to be building staff pathing the whole time behind me, right? You know what? If you tell me I got to go in there and mow the lawn or, or hedge the bushes. Oh, you got to mow the lawn, Marcus. I mean, no, with I a game like that, don't you just hire somebody? Just hire a gardener? Yeah, I think so. I think so, yeah. I like the, I like the option or the idea of having to have a way to replenish the shops and stands and stuff. And having to have staff only paths that's that's it's un, it's a unique take on it i like that i like it it adds a fourth dimension that isn't yeah, typically there with games like that so i'm i'm honestly really looking forward to giving it a shot i think it's gonna be freaking cool yeah and if you even if you put like a path in a staff path in front they, of yeah they won't use it yeah so we'll have to be sneaky with where the paths go and how the staff pathing works. I think it's going to get maybe a little bit confusing. Because we can't cross it with normal paths, right? Can you build underground, do you know? Uh, yes, you can. Okay, that's good. That'll make life a little easier. You may want to go through a tutorial. Oh no, I'm winging it, Marcus. Oh jeez. I'm winging it. Frustrated cuz you don't know what you're doing. Oh, oops, I just made a I've seen that ginger before. Uh, what what ginger are you referring to, Marcus? That one. Which one? That one, you right now. Oh, me? Just going to wing it. Don't want to take the time invest the extra couple minutes. I'm going to just you ask you all the questions, Marcus Dagon. I don't honestly, I don't know a lot. Well, I'll see how it is. I'll see how it is. Well, we're, we're winging it, Marcus. It's a lot of grain. messed up over here too. I pulled off track and sprayed straw everywhere by accident. Got a little too excited. Let's see what this hits by the time we get to the end here. I'm curious. Yeah, I really messed that up. Ah, uh, I figured it out. What did you have to do? Or is it a secret? No, uh, you would go to the like the top right of Steam. Mm -hmm. Click your 
one that says view profile and account you go to oh oh fancy okay yeah you edit that part and then down to privacy settings right right oh so everything i've got on my steam i keep friends only but that particular one friend uh of who can see what i'm playing was set to private well don't want to share anything with us do you marcus no i don't really care to be honest with you. i don't believe it what's up crimson Uh, actually, Ginger, you don't share the titles you're playing. I've noticed on your Steam. Uh, that's because I'm never logged into friends list. I sure. log in right now. Like it's it's not turned on. Yeah, look now now see what I'm doing. What am I doing, Marcus? Yeah, come on, come on, Marcus. I just never have my friends oh, yeah, turned on. Yeah, and... yeah. Yeah, yeah, I turn it off. I leave, I, I, I'm always offline with it. I never go on unless we're linked up and playing something. I don't like all the messages. I get a lot of random messages these days, so I leave it off. Well, most, you know, half those messages are me. Half are what? Half of them are just me. Just um, you with like, fake, 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 fake accounts? Fake accounts. I want you to think you got, like, a following. Oh, so. I got fans, Marcus. Don't, don't insult me so. I don't just mean my like fan on my desk either. I mean I got real fans. Come on, Marcus. Uh, Crimson, we logged in. Marcus and I logged in today for a brief minute to New World. We kind of want to play again, but we're both in agreement that staying on the server we're on is just a terrible idea. It's it's gone downhill. It's all blue except for one territory. Like, they need to do the Sir the World merges already. What's up, Ladar? If they would merge worlds, Marcus and I would probably play. I really wish it had held my attention a bit better. Yeah, I, I wish, Crimson. Like, it's tough, man. And I know there's a lot of content we've not done yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. As soon as I can transfer again, uh, I'm, I'm game, 100%. As is Marcus. Pretty good house here, doing well. We're just harvesting our wheat. I'm a wheat farmer. Yeehaw. So we gotta do all this farming, and then we gotta turn it on to bales of straw, and then we haul the straw. What's up, Falavara? Did they do some changes? Yeah, the big changes today, too, later. A lot of stuff. Some new systems, etc. I feel like they did a pretty good job with aspects, so... We'll see in the long run. Oh, no. We missed. How's it going, Falavara? Come on, spit out the straw swath. There we go. Oh, no. Marcus, what do the maps look like? Oh, you know what? This is trying to invite through Discord. Oh, I don't know how to do that. There's got to be a way to do both. Okay, I see. Well, why would my Discord status be prior? Yeah, that'd be perfect, Crimson. Maybe even just go to his server and just stay, stay covenant and just try and play with somebody that's consistently playing. Like, don't get me wrong, I'd love to keep up with it. It's just we didn't have a good group, a big group to plug into. I don't know if you heard, but the boys from Canada did it. They developed a chemical compound that neutralizes COVID was on the news. Oh, that's cool. So not not a vaccine, something else. Which sounds good to me. Yeah, yeah, Crimson, that would be amazing, man. If we could figure that out, I would I would definitely play more.
But Marcus, can you read off the maps that you see? If you when you get back to that, we'll we'll figure out a way to do it through Steam. There's got to be a way, right? I don't know. I don't know because it put well, and it just says like, okay, here, wait. I can go back one and tell you what the uh, maps are. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect, Crimson. And maybe we'll just get merged somewhere that's just better. And if not, maybe we can hopefully jump again. But no, Falvar, I'd love to know more because that sounds huge. Basically, it's Western Park, Spooky Park, Science, Sci-Fi Park, Fantasy Park, Flat Terrain, Large Flat Terrain, Small, Lake Park, Hills Park, River Park, and Tutorial Loopy Lagoon. Which one appeals to you, Marcus? Honestly, for our first time, just the small flat one so we can play around with everything. I want to do the Sci-Fi Park. Uh, you still can. I mean, you're going to have those... Those, oh, uh, it's just pre-themed versus... Yes, I okay. think Okay. So. Oh, I did it again. I did it again. Oh, no, my God. I gotta figure that out, man. Is this 30,000 now? From the article, Ontario researchers have created a chemical compound that can neutralize COVID-19. As well as several of its variants. Alright, that's perfect. So will it be a pill, or we're not sure yet? I think we go big, Marcus, or do we want to start small? Like, how big is the... What are the map sizes, Marcus? That's a better question. Does it say, like, how many squares or something? Uh, it probably does. Dude, Crimson, that'd be fun. Crimson would love to play a Zoo Tycoon, but, like, a Jetstones, <laughs> Jetstones version in space. That would be crazy. That'd be fun. Jetsons? Yeah, Jetsons themed zoo. You said Detailing Jet Stones. The... Jet Stones? Jets. Even though it was made by Hanna Barbera, it's not the Flintstones, it's the Jetsons. Yeah, that's what I said. I said Jetsons. You said Jet Stones. I would never say. Roll it back, Marcus. Roll it back. I will. Roll it back. Jet Stones. What is this? I, I ain't that crazy. So, detailing their findings in a recent paper published in the Journal of Medical Chemistry and Researches at the University of Toronto, good at D-peptides. See, I've heard of D-peptides before, so they were they were tapping into something existing and probably improving upon it, which is great. If it gets the job done, it makes me happy, so. Might be a shot or a pill. I hope it's a pill. I think there's so much taboo with the shot at this point that it needs to be a pill. Especially if it could be done successfully with the pill. I think that's the better choice. Personally. Not medical advice. What'd you find out, Mr. Marcus? I haven't found anything out yet, to be honest with you. You said you were rolling it back. Oh, no. I, you know, I can only do one thing at a time, Ginger. I'm not really much of a multitasker. He 100% said Jetstones. I said Jetsons. I so said Jetsons. I swear. No! Afterwards you did. There's no way I said Jetstones. You did. I don't Thank believe it. I don't you. believe it. I'm watching it back later. Maybe I am going that crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, Canadians, Canadians were also the ones that uh, cured SARS too, eh? Back with yeah. SARS yeah. I remember that. I remember hearing about that. Two high security labs in South Korea confirmed the experiment with cultured human cells and the peptides working against the infection. Yeah. Nice, dude. Maybe that can tackle other things, too. It's because we're the best. If you insist, huh? sir, we'll let you have this one. We'll let you have this dub. I hope we get to 25% before the end here. This is going pretty well. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just saw the pigs on the picture. 
two tame boars. Where? <laughs> you didn't see it? No. Look at the look at the, in the Discord chat. Oh no! Yeah, I'll, I'll click over here in a minute. Valheim, he's got two tame boars in his bed. Oh yeah, I had seen that at some point. Philip Kinn said that since deep dogs can be used to fight disease in higher target ways. That's huge. Hopefully they they take that to heart and they actually work on solving those things a bit more. There's always some melodrama every time there's a medical breakthrough. Everybody acts like. These pharmaceutical companies are just not not going to make money anymore. Hey, Bladar, which one's the female? How am I getting this turned around? Come on, just cut the dang thing, man. Crimson, what you been playing, man? Still myth? Nothing. Nothing. Taking a breather. Watch the new Witcher. Was there another season? Yeah, uh, the first first episode came out. It's good. Okay, I gotta watch it. Yeah, I just finished the first season last night, so I didn't know they were releasing it one episode at a time. Yeah, it's really good. All right, I'm going to watch it today. Couldn't have picked a better guy to play the Witcher either. Oh, he's such a good choice, dude. Didn't he play yeah. Superman, too? Yeah, yes, Superman. Yeah, he did good with that as well. Henry Cavill. Yep, yep, I like what he's doing. He, he told a story the other day. He was on the, the thing, and he said that his nephew got in trouble for lying at school. And I guess they were, like, talking about their family, like what they do for jobs. And he goes, he goes, oh, my, he goes, my uncle's job, he's Superman. And, and the teacher said, no, come on now, you know, let's, let's be serious about this now. Don't be telling jokes, lies. He goes, no, 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 he really is Superman. So then when the mom went to pick him up, the teacher said to the mom, he said, you know, we were really strict on, on the kids, you know, telling the truth and stuff during class. So today so-and-so got in trouble. And she goes, oh, what did he do wrong this time? She goes, well, he was telling stories. And she goes, oh, well, what story was he telling? She goes, well, she was trying to tell the class that uh, his uncle is Superman and the, the mom says the teacher she goes well I, I, I kind of hate to tell you this but he actually is Superman <laughs> <laughs> that's good fall of all that would be nuts if Canada becomes the country to cure cancer but it won't be available in America because we're too busy fucking price gouging by 5 and 10 and 20 thousand percent of what the fuck it actually cost uh, trust me nuts day was great though yeah good good my day was good too uh, we we went out to Walmart to get a few last minute items done for shopping. Terrible idea. Crazy amounts of people. I think we're officially done and don't need to do anything else until after the holidays, hopefully. I think he's looking at an older picture. Too, Bladar. Where was that picture from, Crimson? And it looks like Valheim. No, wait, when, 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 when was it posted? Oh, uh, uh, September 18th. Oh, yeah, that's older. That's why Blade Art's confused. Uh, yeah. I saw it, eh? That's all. No, all good. But I'm. Which one's the female? Now I gotta watch that new episode, dude. I'm so excited for The Witcher. It ended good, but the way they told the story, I wasn't catching on until halfway through the season that. Like the two, to the two ends of the story were coming together on purpose. Yeah, yeah. it was kind of flipping the, forward, flipping backward. The game, how the game starts? And, yeah. And he goes, he goes back to his home base. Yep. And uh, Siri is there. Yeah. She's training. Yeah. So that girl that he's riding with, that's Siri. Right. So that's she's gonna be some, some. Yeah, she's gonna become something. Though, like in the, in in the, the game, game, yeah. Older. In the game, the game she's, she's a lot younger. Oh, really? Okay. So they changed it around. Interesting. Yeah, because that, that's Yennefer, the one that he's in the room with, right? At the very beginning. The right. The dark-haired girl. Right. And then he goes, you do the quest, and then you finally, you, you go back to where you're at your home base, and you're you're uh, doing the, the quest line there or whatever. But no, that's at the very beginning. You do the quest line. 
Right, I remember. The guy says Siri, and Siri's running along the fence, and that's how you learn how to fight by showing her. You're teaching her, but you're. There oh are yeah, dude. It's been so long since I messed with the Witcher. I remember that. Yeah. That's cool. And she's a young girl. She's like about I don't know, maybe 11, 12 years old then. Okay, I'll bet you that she's supposed to be that old in the show too, and it just didn't quite translate. I'm assuming. We should make an online version of that game, multiplayer. Oh, dude, it'd be good. There's so much story oh, there. Awesome. There's so much story there, dude. Like truly. Tons. Like a Skyrim. And then some. The Netflix show based off the game or the OG book? Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. Uh, Falavara, I the. The show adaptation is a little bit book and a little bit game. Uh, there's a couple of things in the show that aren't necessarily in the book. There's a couple of things in, in the book that are in the show. And then there's a, some tie-in from the game as well. They did a good job with it. I, I really liked it. I'm very, very happy they did a season two. I think it'd be better than Game of Thrones. Because Game of Thrones started flopping halfway through hard. I yeah, I said it. it. To grab both... both uh, people, you know, like they wanted to grab the people that read the books that maybe ne didn't necessarily play the game. Right. But they also wanted to grab the other genre where the people that played the game that didn't read the books, right? Yeah, I think they did a really good job. Marcus, where did you go? Uh, I'm here. I'm actually sorting through my mail. Oh. Tell me, Marcus. I mean, it... while you're while you're going back and forth on the farm, there, I might as well make use of my time here. You know what, Marcus? When you open your mail, do you have to wear bifocals? No, but if it dep if it depends, if I'm wearing my contacts, I gotta hold everything real far away. <laughs> if I'm wearing my glasses, I gotta take my glasses off then to read it. Oh shoot! Interesting, Marcus. Very interesting. Hey, you'll be my age one day. Man, yeah. I can't imagine how, how how bad it's gonna be when I get to be Crimson's age. Crimson's younger than you. What? Knows that. <laughs> Wait, Crimson, how old are you? Fifty-five. Forty-five. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Oh shoot. Okay, you you you're you're safe, think, Marcus. Actually, I think I think Crimson might even have a year on Shifty. I'm not sure. Probably. Yeah, I think I'm th I'm third now. I think. You're probably all living though. What uh, older people are more than welcome in the church room. Yes. And when I say older, I mean. Uh, yes. Yeah, you really can't yes, say that. The average gamer, the average gamer, the age keeps going like up every year. Yeah, because we don't quit gaming. Right. It seems, I think they said, like, the average age, like, goes up by, like, half a year every year or something. Like, you would think it would stay, like, a certain age, but it doesn't. It goes up. You're surprised the Witcher, like, Arthur, agreed. Like my, all my buddies that are still my age, they, they game one way or another. Either most of them don't do PC. They just do, uh, you know, PlayStation or Xbox. But right, they right. Still play. They still play. The funnest is when we can all get together and play. It's like the old days. Yeah. Bolivar, why did why does the author of the Witcher series hate the game? I felt like the game was really well done. I felt like I told the story pretty well too. Like I've not read the whole book, but I'm familiar with the book part as well. Oh gosh, I still have a whole nother field to do. Oh man. Hey Crimson, I uh, I don't know if you if you watched him play this a lot or not. Do you have any desire to play Farm Simulator 22? No. <laughs> <laughs> I told Ginger, I'm like, man, I don't want to get out there and cut the gra my own grass, let alone come I in spent, and play a video game. <laughs> I spent 90% of my youth out in the fields, sitting in a tractor, cutting hay, and plowing fields. I really don't want to play a game that does the same thing. Fair enough, I'm gentlemen. Not, I'm glad it's not just me. Okay, cool. It's just you, Marcus. Bring back bad memories, man. Busting my ass <laughs> in the farm. Getting up at 5 in the morning. Oh, my God. 
I want to play the do your laundry simulator. The Duke of Laundry? What? Yes, do your laundry simulator. Oh, you do know. your laundry. Oh. Yeah. Housewife simulator. Oh, yeah. Pay your bills right, simulator. You could do in-game purchases with, like, new toilet swabbies and everything. I mean, you, you guys laugh, but it probably exists. Get up in the morning and eat breakfast and then go to work all day and then have to go home again and then do all the chores and, oh, yeah, cut the grass. That'd be fun. That could be good. That could be really good. And Best seller. This yoga at night with the wife and, you know. Man, yeah, sounds, sounds <laughs> beneficial. Uh, Crimson, I'm glad you came on. The, that personal connection time is a very important part of every, every budding relationship, guys. Y'all should know this. Then sit down and watch Tiny Dancer and all the favorite shows. Oh, and now he's zinging both of oh, us, Marcus. Ex exactly. No, he's absolutely right. <laughs> Oh my then you God. go to bed that's and do funny. it all over again the next day. Yep. Sounds about right. Oh, that's funny. He wanted to pull out of a contract with CD Projekt Red. Wanted more money. Oh, this was a long time ago. Okay. Maybe he's changed his tone a little bit. Of course he wants more money. Book ruined by a video game. I don't think it'll ever be ruined by a video game. They, they, they did such a good job, man. gamers or not the guy's gonna make money off it so what does he care yeah and they did a good job and then the the show was amazing you know like the guy the game of thrones guy you know how much money he made off of those shows man he made quadrillions i mean he's not gonna complain about them i he love all the care. spoof episodes that came out like south park and family guy and simpsons were shitting all over george R. R. martin it was it was pretty funny honestly yeah. Eat. Oh, that'd be a good game. Nanny Simulator. Yeah. <laughs> gotta hold crying babies and make them stop, and oh, that'd be fun. Oh. Shitty, shitty diapers. I mean, that's what's it called. That's that game. Well, the guy's carrying around a baby in a jar. It came out this year. Baby in a jar? Yeah, what was that game? Bladar knows. Bladar, what was the game where he was carrying around a baby in a jar? Was it Ghost of Tsushima or was it something else? No, it wasn't Ghost of Tsushima, was it? No, what was it? They have the giant backpacks full of stuff and all sorts of weird stuff. Yeah, yeah, Blade, Bladar knows. Bladar! What was the game? Somebody save me. We all want to play it, but nobody wanted to pay full price for it. That's all I remember. I don't, I don't think, I don't know if it was Ghost of Tsushima or something else. Hideo Kashima? Was that the, the game creator? Evil Within? No, but... Uh, close. Death Stranding. Thank you. Yeah, Death Stranding. Uh, oh, yeah, Crimson. Death yeah, yeah, he had a baby in a jar. It looked fun. I really wanted to play it, just never got to it. Graphics look good. Yeah. Just triple A title I didn't feel like paying fifty bucks for, honestly. Triple A has been disappointed us enough lately. I think the thing that, that really impresses me with about games is games that where when you go do a quest, every time you do that quest the outcome can be different, you know what I mean? It's like your your end your end loot or whatever could be different. Yeah. It's it's when it's always the same thing and it's the same thing happens all the time. That that's just too boring for me. So you you play the game, then you go back like a, a year later and play the game, and and you remember the quest because the quest hasn't changed. You know, oh I remember doing this quest. You got to go do this. You got to go here. You gotta, to me, that's boring. 
Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Field 38 is huge. This is going to take me another hour still, guys. At, at the very least, another hour. But it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's well, it's it, very it, enjoyable. Yeah, I think I see a nickel shining in, in, in the thing there. You might want to hop off and grab that. Marcus, you don't have permission to metal detect on my property. And you can't yeah, be chasing no animals onto my land either, Marcus. It's not very realistic, that game. This one? Yeah. Why not? Whenever I have done farm farming, there's always a fence around the flipping field that you got to watch out for when you're making the turns. Oh, yeah. We could put that in, but why bother? And stumps. My favorite. Twenty-five days on Zomboid. Yeah, Blader, how are you liking Zomboid? Project Zomboid. Still enjoying? While this empties, I gotta open up the side monitor for a second. There's nothing worse than plowing the field when you you get tired and you turn around and look to see how it's going. And you see about a mile of fence dragging behind the plow. Have you done that <laughs> before? Field. Yeah. I'm serious. It was about a mile. I couldn't even see the end of the fence. That's how long it was. What'd your dad say? He never found out. <laughs> Did you put it back up? I unhooked the plow. I tied the, the fence to the tractor and took it over to the neighbors. Snap. Yeah, and then when the next time I had free time, I went out and replaced the fence. There you go. Oh, we went the wrong way here. Son of a gun. Oh, well, let's get this done, then we'll fix it. We'll come back down and just restart. We'll just circle back around. So, yeah, so a lot of possibilities. And I don't have cows, Fulvar. I only have a couple of chickens. And not many at that. Have you seen Hawkeye yet? No, I turned off Disney Plus recently. We'll turn it back on soon because of the the next Star Wars thing. Hawkeye's pretty good. I'll have to check it out. His uh, his uh, Natasha Romanoff sisters in it as well. Oh yeah, I did see. I I thought that was a like Black Widow standalone because I watched the Black Widow standalone. There's something else yeah, called so, Hawkeye. So this is a TV show based off of him. Oh, yeah. No, I haven't watched it then. I haven't watched and it yet. Now, yeah, and she's... The, the latest episode has her show up in it. Okay. I have to check that out. I have not had the time to. I have to go AFK for a bit, but I'll be back. Roger that. Enjoy the cardio. He's got to take his trash out. He's got a long driveway. That means cardio. Do a little tiny dancing down the driveway. A little tiny, tiny dancer down the driveway, Marcus. Got to channel the footloose music. Yep. Yeah, can you imagine Marcus dancing down his driveway, pushing the trash can, listening to Footloose I soundtrack? Oh God. I'm that telling him this when we get back. That'd be too funny, man. I would, I would pay to see that. Yep. <laughs> 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 uh, oh man, that'd be good. That'd be good. <laughs> yeah, Marcus, he starts off slow and then just really works into it, and it's just like full blown, just like professional level dancing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as he gets back, we're telling him what it, what what his oh, life goal God. is. Making a Wonder Woman game? I didn't know that. Dude, it'd be so funny. 
They're making a Wonder Woman game. I did not know that. The same company that makes the Batman games. Okay. Dude, that's going to be good. Everybody was freaking out about that Spider-Man game. I think it was this year. And I never played it. I don't know. It just didn't interest me. But I would play a Wonder Woman game. Wonder Woman game? Yeah, there's some new one coming out. It's made by the same company that make, made uh, all the recent Batman games. But that could be good. Wonder Woman? Seriously? I mean, it could be good. What, with your little lasso? Golden lasso? I mean, it'd be about like playing Tomb Raider, I would think. No, no, no. You can't even compare Tomb Raider to Wonder Woman. They're not, they're not comparable? Who's better? No. Tomb Raider. Raider. Tomb Raider. Yeah. Tomb Raider's a classic. <laughs> yeah, that's a fair point. I mean, and those games were fun, too, honestly. Those she games were a lot ass, of point. The, 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 the those games were on point. Yeah. I don't know. I'd have to see them both. Do you remember, do you remember the very first original ones that, like, you couldn't save until you got to those little save points? Like, I think I played one on Nintendo 64, too, and it was really good. To hate that they'd have that really really hard task to get up to some save point, and you'd have to sit there and keep trying. Oh yeah, yeah 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 yeah. I know what you mean. Save the game until you got up there. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. The pain. Spider Man, it's too awesome to compare. Okay. You rage quit a lot. That game more than any other game in the world. Did you ever play the old school like Duke Nukem games on MS DOS? No, nah, no, nah. I didn't ever play Duke Nukem. Oh, dude, it was so much fun. So all those games in the mid-90s, like Duke Nukem, Doom, like the way they worked where you had to consistently hit the checkpoints to even save the game, that's that's what I preferred. Having to hit checkpoints was always more fun to me than just being able to, like, spam save. Yeah. I never liked that you could spam save just whenever you felt like. Yeah. It's just felt a little generation. cheap, yeah. I mean, for things like uh, like the turn-based games, I can understand it there because the turn, like turn by turn, they can change. Things can change so quickly. I'm fine with it for that. But something like like Tomb Raider style, I prefer to have to hit checkpoints, etc. I think it's more fun. What's the dragon one? Do you remember the, the dragon one where you'd have to like? You know, like, go left, crouch down, stand up, move right. What was that one? That was a fun one. Some kind of running game? It was a side-scroller, almost? Kind like, of. Temple like Run? It was a, a cart... It was, a like, a, almost like a cartoon-based game, where it was, like, a, a cartoon scene. Right. And no, it sounds like Temple Run. Was, it was, like, Dragon... Was it? Oh, I can't remember. And it was the guy's name was Dirk or whatever. He had blonde hair and the sword. I'll have to Google and see. Uh, your dream going to be an open time, world Aquaman? Yeah. Every time you miss, he like the dragon would just like roast him or something or bite his bite him in half. It sounds something. familiar. Yeah. Oh, what was that? Spyro. Oh, that's long before Spyro. Okay. Fall of our Aquaman in an open world platform would be really good. I've been wanting to play the new Halo Infinite because it's more open world-ish than the past Halo titles have been. So I would love to see how that would go. Everybody's been playing it though, so I, I haven't tried. I don't think we're going to get this in one swath here, unfortunately, so... Yeah, it was called Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair? Nice. His name was Dirk. I don't think I've played it ever. Yeah, it was kind of like a pitfall game. Like, he was in a dungeon trying to get the gold and, or, or rescue the princess. And there was always, there'd either be a snake or there'd be a spike trap or there'd be a, like a rolling ball. Almost like Tomb Raider. Or not, not Tomb Raider. Um, almost like um, Indiana Jones kind of stuff. Oh, okay. Sounds fun. It sounds like it could have been a lot of fun.
it was hard. I believe the farther it. Farther along you went, the harder it got. What's up, Joe? Good to see you, sir. I'm going to have to check that out, Falvar. I, I do think I'd enjoy it. Although it wouldn't be... I don't know. I'd have to see the footage and see what I think. I would definitely play it still, though. Got one more pass after this, like a barely a pass if you can call it that. And that game was like it was cutting edge when it came out because it wasn't just a video game, it was like one of the first games where you were playing and there was actually like a, a 3D or not a 3D, but there was actually an animated cartoon in the game. So like while you were playing it, like the actions and stuff. That's cool. Yeah, I didn't know that. Reminds me of the old Red Alert games where they did, like, live-action cutscenes. That was always a lot of fun, wasn't that's, it? That's exactly what it is. That's cool. This was back during Pac-Man time, you know? Right, right. Yeah, I'd at least, I'd at least look it over, Falvar. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure how to play it, but... I am curious. Did you ever play Joust? No. Before my time. Stargate? No. Yeah, just a bit. I try my best. Made all those games in the arcade. You used to get high score and you'd get a hot dog and a free pop. Dude, I kind of wish I had grown up more when arcades were a thing. Like, that was a big 80s thing, wasn't it? More so than the 90s, even. Oh, uh, dude, some of them were massive. Yeah. That's where you'd go, man. They have them now, though. They have, like, newer ones now, but you go get yeah. tickets. Yeah, the day we love Dave and Buster's, or at least I do. The wife does too. It's the same thing. Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, we take the kids there on occasion. Rare yeah, occasion. It's the same, same thing. Same thing. But back then, you just played for the high score, not for tickets and prizes. I mean, there were some yeah. cool places in the '90s, but nothing as good as what the the old school show, TV movies show of the '80s in the arcades. Just thinking of Terminator Two, the arcade scene. Yeah. See, there wasn't really any place to hang out before the before the arcades. Like, like there was a bowling alley, but I mean, who wants to bowl? Right? Who wants to bowl? Exactly. When we hit sixteen, it was the drive-ins. We had it. We had an A and W drive-in until until I was in my my thirties, man. Shit. 
Yeah. Oh, dude, man. You go there on a Friday night and all the guys that show up in their, their souped up cars. Right. It was cool. They'd all park around the whole outside edge. How old were they? Huh? Were these like teenagers with fancy cars? Oh, no, no. These are adults. Oh, adults. Okay. Shit. Because there was no real car show. So there, that, that was where. That was so we could go and park your car there, and you could show off your car. Oh, the okay. Cops weren't bothering you for driving up and down the street, right? Right. Jeez. Hey, Obsidian, thanks for the sub, man. Much appreciate it. Yeah, you you order your food, and they come out with those really long trays that would fit between the windows. That's oh cool. yeah, that is neat. I miss those. Everybody wore roller skates, like all the servers. Yeah. That's good stuff. We really need to drag rocks through here. Silas, how's it going? Uh, pretty good, pretty good here. Just grabbing wheat. It's not really going to be a million liters, so I'm just a clickbait little bitch. It's going to be probably about 100,000 between these two fields. We're sitting on 73. Actually, actually it might be more like 150. Okay. 73 right now. So, and that includes um, a smaller field that we did yesterday. It includes 43 as well. Here's the price scale. I don't know what a good sell price is for wheat either. I think I'll do... A turnaround here? Yeah, I think so. I think I'll let this this I'll let this end and then we'll flip and go back. Or do we Yeah, no, let's do the outer edge. Let's do the outer edge, yeah. Just cause I know it's gonna be a pain to turn. I guess Marcus is still dancing, huh? Marcus, you back? That must be one long ass driveway. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Cardio. Hey, Joe, take care, man. Good to see you. Thanks for swinging through again, brother. Can you imagine you get all the way out there, drop off the garbage, and you're halfway back and you hear the dump truck come by? <laughs> you have to go all the way back out and get it again? Yeah, that'd be the day. Yeah, I am going to go ahead and just do one loop around the whole outer edge here. This is just such a unique shape. We need to kind of frame it in more than we normally would. How's this going to work? Am I just going to take a turn, leave the machine on? I don't know. We'll figure it out in a minute here. Actually, I'd love it would lined up to just be 100% shortly so I can just drive out of here. But I think we're going to have to make this turn. So the Winter Convergence Festival is already out, eh? Yeah, yeah, that's why I logged in today, the main reason. Uh, yeah. Uh, Silas, what you're seeing getting put down right now, that's just straw. Uh, all the grain itself is being stored into the harvester, and then I'm really close to my farm, so I'll just run back over to my silo and store it all. But, yeah, depending on the crop, typically it's just going to get picked up they, they, with, with whatever machine you're using. Every, every, Every crop has a specific machine that can work to pick it up, like potatoes, beets, grapes, olives, all the tricky things. So harvesters are going to work for a lot of the basic crops, like what you see here. Like anything that can be pulled, like any grain crop can just be used with a harvester. Uh, sunflowers included in that category. And then we just run back over here. So we do have a couple of options disabled, like the, the crop damage on, on rolling, we disabled that, because who's got time for a game like that? 
But what we'll do in a minute is we'll get our baler and we'll go up and down and bail all of this straw and then we'll flip the straw for a quick profit of not selling today. But we should be able to get about 700 bucks per bale of straw traditionally on a good sale day. Then we, then we just let this dump out and then we go back over there. We have silage bales resting everywhere because those sell really well. And we're selling them soon, just not today. And I don't know what a good wheat price is. Goldcrest Valley, not going to do it because it's a train. So we'll probably hold the wheat for a little bit. There are some price fluctuations. It'll be worth more in January, so we'll probably worth it. wait more towards January to sell it. So now what we'll do is we'll come back to this corner and work our way back around and, and frame this out so we can do our rows a bit easier. Yeah, you have to wait for crops to grow. So, I mean, our farm has gotten pretty big at this point. So day to day, we typically have enough to do between all the fields we own. And beyond that, you can as well work contracts, which are just like NPC contracts to earn extra money. Some are, some are good like this one. This one's really nice. But So we'll do stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, with so many fields, and we own like five or six fields now, like the best thing to do is just like kind of stagger your crops a little bit. And we have it set to be three day months, so three in game days per month. Uh, the game by default is one game day per month, so it, it will move, it moves really quick when uh, when you're um, doing the one day month. It only grows when you're online, and only really like the, whenever there's a season change. That's typically when you'll see the crop changes. And then there's only progress in the server when you're online as well, so... We have to be careful sometimes not to go too far, because we have a few people playing. Seems like a really slow game. Yeah, I mean, it depends. It's... it's... It's a breather for me, I mean... A, what sim game isn't kind of slower paced, at least in my experience? Like, simulator style game, like, every one I've ever played is kind of pretty... Mellow. And this one's good. I like it. It's a change of pace from what we normally play, and everybody's been happy to, to watch it and play it, so. We've got a, a group of guys that like playing this together, so. And I'm on a simulator kick right now, right now, anyways. An old person's game. An old person's game? Yeah, 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 I can see that. I'm enjoying it, though. No complaints here. You can also hire, like, I can hire an AI worker to do all this. You can hire AI to do a lot of stuff, but I tend to just like to do it myself. What we're going to do is we're going to come to this corner and, and square it off. Then we'll go back around to that spot and finish it coming back this way. That's what I think we're going to do. We're going to finish this and then we're going to go back that way and get to going on these rows here. This. Maybe we'll try shorter rows this time? I don't know.
you read about the guy in McDonald's? No, what about CEO? him? No, what happened? He got fired and then he got he got a severance of like 105 million. And then the company found out that he like had had sexual relations with all these employees and he has to pay it back. No, I didn't see that. That's crazy. Is this an American CEO? I believe so. Mm, that's nuts, man. What else is new, right? Sounds about like America. But yeah, Silas, this is a really slow paced game, like just very mellow. And the farm's still pretty small. Like, once we have a lot more space, it'll change a little bit. But, and then, you know, there's animals, there's logging, there's greenhouses. There's a bunch of different unique things you can do, so. Yeah, so apparently he was, he was eligible to, to get 700,000. Uh, but they, a figure estimated to be around 105 million was paid to their former employee to settle a lengthy lawsuit over his sexual relations with employees. Oh, wow, okay. That's bananas. Yeah. Like, how did he think it was gonna end? Like, seriously, right? Oh, man. Yeah. Doesn't he put say, a fucking his name Steve, 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 what is it, Steven? The name is Dumbass? S uh, Steven Easter... Easterbrook. Doesn't sound familiar at all. Since he lost the top job at McDonald's back in 2019 after the company found he violated company policy and demonstrated poor judgment involving consensual relationship with an employee. At the time, investigators discovered that Eastbrook uh, exchanged sexual texts and photos with a female employee. The fast food giant lost $4 billion in value in the wake of the scandal as well as its chief people, Officer David Fairhurst. Looks like he wasn't really chief of the people, was he? Yeah. Then he got, it says he ended up receiving around 105 million, but by August 2020, the conflict between McDonald's and its former leader heated up once more. The restaurant chain sued Eastbrook over allegations that he covered up sexual relations with at least three other employees. Uh, insiders Kate Taylor reported for the Eastbrook. Uh, oh, it's Chicago. Uh, became mainstays at Sh Chicago's Viagra Triangle, something. An area which rich men go to pick up younger women. According to an ex employee in February 20th, one employee romantically connected to Eastbrook agreed to be disposed. Okay, then. Good job, McDonald's. So as the company is saying, they want, he has to return equity awards and cash with a current value of over 105 million. <laughs> so they want him to return all the money. They're delusional. Like all the money? No, but I mean, he should pay yeah, they want all their for the back. settlements. Like he should at least pay for the settlements. But every, like rob the man of every cent he owns? <laughs> I don't know. It's, you said it was all consensual, right? But I guess you could argue, like, like all of rank, like power, position, etc. He took advantage of that angle, so. Yeah, the guy's a fucking dick. Well, what else is new? That's crazy. We can plant canola right now.
which I'm not I'm not planting anything. I don't want to try and plant anything. That's crazy, man. 105 million severance pay. That's that's a little outrageous as far as severance pay goes. Yeah. I wonder what he made in the lifetime at the company. I don't think any CEO deserves that. It's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. Think about that. 105 million. How many people you could get off the street, homeless people, and set them up for for a year even in an apartment? It's yeah. Just unbelievable. Like. How did he add that much value to the company that he was worth 105 million when he quit, or was let go, or whatever? I mean, if it's severance, they got rid of him. They violated his contract. So, yeah, I'm sorry. No one person to me is worth that. No, it's definitely extreme. Just to harvest in the wheat. We're going to be here a while. I'm thinking four more trips to the, the dumper there. I'm not sure, though. We'll see here. Yeah, this field needs to be de-rocked. It's really, really bad. It's got an insane amount of rocks in it. I can see them from here. I can. I normally. They, they normally don't stand out that heavily. Marcus, you back yet? Is he still in the Discord even, Crimson? Or did he leave? Or is he still there? Look. No, he's still there. He's just AFK. Yeah, he's definitely just dancing. Crimson. He's just dancing. Oh, this is a lot of wheat. Oh, there's a building in the way. Oh, crap. Okay, then. Hey, I'm back. Aha! Okay. I knew what it. Did my, did, my, did my YouTube channel rewind itself? Because you're, you're back to mowing a field again. There was two fields, Marcus. That's why I said we got a million leaders here. But no, so... Marcus, riddle me this. You were wearing headphones, pushing slash dancing down the driveway, listening to the soundtrack of Footloose, were you not? <laughs> Don't even lie, Marcus. We know what you're doing. Did I have, dis did I have Discord on my phone, or was my FaceTime on or something? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. You like the Footloose soundtrack, don't you, Marcus? Uh, it actually, if I remember, it was a pretty good soundtrack for its era. It, w it really was. <laughs> I won't. I won't complain there. Like the original Footloose, right? The Kevin Bacon one. The, was there another one? They did a reboot. Yeah. Uh, 
Why can't they think of their own stuff? Son of a bitch, yeah. You know, that's the thing. Like, why is everything having reboots or additional movies made? Like, fucking create some other stuff, please, Hollywood. Please. They're not that creative. They really aren't. Like, they did this whole Jurassic Park reboot with all these Jurassic World movies, which were only okay. They weren't that good. I'm waiting for the last one to come out to see if I like it anymore than the others. But yeah, they... Duke's a hazard. Didn't oh, they redo that? I, I used to love that show. That When I was a little kid, Duke, it was Duke's a Hazard and the Incredible Hulk. Those were my two favorites. I don't think that would go over too well with the Union Jack flag on their car, though. Not I'm these not days. Really. I thought they did something back in the 2000s. Was it... What was it? They did a movie. Yeah, they had Johnny Knoxville in it. It wasn't that good, yeah. They had a reunion, but the actual movie was not at all... They, It was a terrible... Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah, they gave us weird. Well, they had a new one, a newer one, and they had two new young guys doing it. Yeah, Johnny Knoxville and some other guy. They, they aimed it at my generation because those guys were in the Jackass movies and the American Pie movies. So they thought it would do well. It, I don't think it did well, com like comparatively, honestly, no. Andy Griffith show, that'd be a good remake. <laughs> if they held, if they held true to the original, you know, theme behind it, yeah. But if yeah. they tried to make a modern version, it would never work. Does Ron Howard really get pissed off when people call him Opie? I don't know why he would. I mean, that's where he made guy, start. The guy's got so much money, like, he didn't... Why would he even care? I mean, let's be realistic. In his era, I mean, you had a choice of what? Uh, Ron Howard or Billy Mummy? <laughs> took, you know, Disney took right. one, and, they, you know, Andy Griffith's show took the other. You know, I mean, going a bit beyond that, you know what was good was those, those old Disney movies from, like, the 70s and early 80s, like Apple Dumpling Gang, Pete's Dragon. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, dude. Where the whole family could sit down and be empty. And just, yeah. And it was, it was funny. It wasn't just I like... like the wildlife ones. Yeah, those were they good were the, too. They were, they were the narrator would talk about the, a fox or something. Like, the fox was always trying to get the eggs from the hen house or whatever. Uh -huh. They made it very interesting, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those Disney ones from like the 60s and 70s were good. Dude, the old... The old um, uh, Swiss Family Robinson. I loved that movie as a kid. An absolute favorite of mine. What was it? Swiss Family Robinson. They were trapped on the oh, island and everything. Good. Yeah, I like yeah that. it was so good, now, dude. Now, that was actually a remake of a... The original, old, which was old. really old. But yeah, I know which one you're talking about. It was actually very good. But all all those Disney movies, it was all the same same actors. Like, a lot now, of them. You know, Lost in Space. Yep. Now, that... Was John, the the guy that played the dad in that was John Mills? Do you know who he is? No, but I'm assuming he was okay. ultra famous for his time. He was a, he was actually Haley Mills' dad. I don't know who that is either. Uh, yeah, you would Disney movies. Haley Mills. She was in a lot of Parent Trap, the original Parent. Trap oh, movie. okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Also, the one that played his oldest son, that was actually Helen Hayes' son. Yeah, they were all really tight knit back too. then too, weren't they? Like it was a lot of the same actors, and everybody knew everybody, and and the other two boys too. They were in a lot of Disney movies after. Yep, that too. yep. The oldest boy was was the main character in Kidnapped, and yeah, they they. But I think back then the way Disney worked it, if you were under contract with Disney, you would just have to go do the movies, kind of. That I mean, you see yeah, it today you too. You see the same groups of actors often acting together because they probably have the same agents and/or otherwise, you know. You remember the A Team? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The reboot of the A Team, I I I enjoyed it. I thought they did a good job. Yeah, it was okay. I thought it was okay too. Yeah, I used to like watching my dad and I used to watch that when I was yeah. a kid. Was the other one that was good. Uh... Who 
was the one? Is Land of the Lost or something like that? Is that the one with the dinosaurs? Yes. Yes, I remember that. That was awesome. That was actually for it, it was it was cheesy as heck, but it was good entertainment. Yeah, it was fun. I don't it know if I've really seen like that. We went through that time warp and wound up with the dinosaurs and. Yeah, that was pretty good. That would be a good remake. I would, I would, I wouldn't mind seeing another Swiss Family Robinson reboot. I've always liked that That's movie. That's good. I like yeah. that one. Yeah. I mean, how many islands are left to be discovered these days? I mean, you'd have to really get lost now to be Sentinel. sincerely lost. Sentinel Island. <laughs> Swiss Family Robinson Sentinel Island. Oh, dude. That would be, be so funny? frightening. That would be, be insane. Like in, they'd be like eaten within a week. Combo Breaker, they really filmed it on Sentinel Island. Somebody went there recently and got killed again. Everybody gets killed if they go there. Yep, it's crazy, Where? man. Sentinel Island. It's Sentinel an island. island. Yeah, it's an island off the coast of... Uh, I well, think New Guinea. Coast, right near New India, Guinea, right? Uh, India. Yeah. India. It, it's actually owned by India, but it's yeah. protected. Indian government uh, forbids anybody it's, from going there. It's a tribe that lives there that's truly, really never had any real contact with the outside world. Oh, really? Every time anybody uh, crash lands there or shows up there, they fucking kill them. Kill them, and eat them? I think just kill them. But there was an experience that they had years ago. It wasn't the fishermen crashing. There was some other experience that they had that from what people could tell wiped out a big portion of their tribe so ever since then they've they've doubled down what, what, what happened was one of the stories i heard about it was back when it was the british empire all over the place they explored that island and they actually kidnapped a, uh, three people from there brought them back to i don't know if it was england or where they took them to tried to teach him english tried to teach him stuff the oldest one died um, from disease. None of them had from from diseases and stuff. Yeah, they just weren't protected. Yeah. And they, then they, I guess they found out that the kids went back and spread it to some of the tribes or something. But yeah, something like that. Pops. I don't just, know. Just I mean, been... even the common like common cold. I mean, it's the same in America. If you live on the East Coast and go to the West Coast, you're going to catch germs you wouldn't otherwise catch, and vice versa. Like you get used used to the germs that are in your proximity, and traveling, going big distances, the things change. Pretty pretty rapidly, as far as what you'll catch. Those Tennessee alcohol bugs. Yep, seriously. It'll get you. Catch those things, man. You have a headache for hours. The only way they uh, actually, as to my knowledge, is they still, by boat and by uh, helicopter, they'll peek in on them. That kind yeah, of they'll thing. do stuff. And they'll drop off like food and stuff. Yeah. Out. yeah. I'm AFK a minute, guys. Dog dog soldiers. You ever watch that? That's exactly what that's about. Yep, that's a tractor. Hi. I'm cutting up uh, grain. Grain. It's got uh, Tom Berenger. And there's like a, a group of Indians that live up in the Montana mountains. That they need right. <laughs> boo boo, Fifi, come on. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Uh, it's pretty good, Dickens. We're we're sitting at um 103,000. I think we'll end around 1.30, but I'll be right back, guys. Okay. Yeah, check out that movie if you ever get a chance. It's called Dog Soldiers. It's really good. You know, I uh, Crimson, I think I saw that, but I didn't know what the name of it was. I remember yeah, that Tom Berenger was in it. Yeah, that's the one. And he ends up going back there to live in the end. I think I'm going to jump off for a bit and go get something to eat and maybe make some coffee. Alrighty, sounds good. I'll catch you guys later, man.
Uh, Dickens, you said, how is the yield? The dude's been doing cutting, mowing lawn here for what about two hours now. He's getting all he's getting out of it are these big yellow like marshmallows. Listen, guys, while Ginger's gone, I think we need to plot against him in order to overthrow the Emperor. I think we can do it, guys. Okay, be quiet. Marcus, I'm back. Oh, hello, Ginger. How are you, sir? I don't know what you were saying, but I don't know. Only 100k? No, that's good, isn't it, Dickens? Like, I don't know. This field's full of rocks, so I'm not surprised it's so low. Wait, wait, what were you saying, Marcus? Am I going to have to roll it back? Didn't you have your headphones on? I, not really, man. I got kids. I'm talking to family. You always, do you always wear your headphones when you leave? I had, I had it around my neck. I heard some snark, but I didn't catch what all you said. I, there, was, there was no snark whatsoever. Oh, there was snark. I guarantee you there was snark. Something. It's called snarkness. <laughs> That's the character that comes out when you drink too much, huh, Mr. Marcus? Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> Marcus becomes Snarkus. You know who I become? We've talked about this before, Marcus. You know who I turn into when I drink too much? Uh, Pepper? No, I turn into White Claw McGraw. That's my that's my White Claw drinking alter, pers altered personality. White Claw McGraw. And the good old White Claw McGraw. He's a little obnoxious. You've met him before, Marcus. Don't even lie. Yeah, actually, I, I kind of like him. Yeah, <laughs> good old White Claw McGraw. Uh, just so you know, I'll probably be out tomorrow. Aha! Uh -huh. Where are you going? Uh, going to get a nice prime rib dinner. Oh. Is that why prime is in your name? Because you like prime rib? Absolutely, yes. I knew it. Actually, no, there's a story behind that, but that's for another day. I think you've told me part of it before. Yeah. What, what about compared to silage, Dickens? What? Good to see you, by the way. I mean, compared to silage. Yeah, compared to silage, but I mean, we have all this straw as well, and the straw is going to sell for a lot, too. Just not not today. Would not be worth much today. I don't think so. No, yeah. Not worth much today. Yeah, silage, dude. We may as well just run silage all the fucking time. It's worth the most. But I mean, we have a hundred thousand liters right now. That's a hundred times five hundred. I don't know what that winds up being. Like, if we sell it, like we could pretty much sell it for five hundred right now. Like, what's a hundred times five hundred, Marcus? Is that five hundred thousand? No, it's only only fifty thousand. What? 100 times 500. I can't math just, today. Just just add the zeros. How oh, son of a bitch. So it's only 50 grand? It is only 50 grand. You are correct. Really? Yeah, 100 times 500, you said, right? Yeah. Bust out my calculator. Only 50,000? What the fuck? Am I doing the math right? 100,000 liters. I'm, I'm doing the math wrong. Like, I did this yesterday, too. So, 100,000 divided by 1,000. Oh, I was doing it right. Okay. What the... It, why is it so terrible? Like, well, that's miserable. That's fucking useless. Like, why even do grain? Like, even the soybeans did better than that, and, like... The amount you get was nothing. Like, but apparently we need to plant corn. Or we need to turn the grain into flour or something. I don't know. We probably need to turn the grain into flour. 
Yeah, we shouldn't sell this. We should turn it all to flour, I guess. Maybe, I, yeah, I don't know how silage is worth so much. Watch them nerf the shit out of it one day, too. That's all people do is mow grass. Let's buy more chickens. Yeah, I agree. I agree. The eggs alone are crazy money. Like crazy, crazy, crazy money. Okay, we're gonna see if this works. What you doing, Marcus? Just connected my. I never had my Steam and Discord accounts connected. Oh, I, I've never done that either. I don't. I don't like it very much, honestly. Not for me. I just want to see if I'll be able to invite you. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to play. Yeah, I'll figure it out if you don't, dear Marcus. Oh, as if it's beyond my comprehension. Oh, it could quite possibly be. I mean, you're the one dancing down your driveway to the Footloose soundtrack, Marcus. Like, comprehension. You don't even know what comprehension means. And I did it in a miniskirt. I, Marcus. I more, I more imagined short shorts, but we, like Daisy Dukes, but mini skirt, yeah, okay, sure. Oh, that's funny. Oh uh, yeah, definitely more of a Daisy Dukes t type of dance. Right, with the uh, with the shirt tied up to show the yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you know what it's about, Marcus. Damn. We sell okay, our, uh, we sell silage, see. yeah, over 400, yeah. Let's see if I can invite you now. Marcus, I'm streaming. Yeah, 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 I agree, Dickens. It says you cannot invite, you cannot send an invite because you are either invisible or hiding. Me? You're playing, you're playing status. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I hide my status on Discord, too. It's me. It's me, because I have my status on Discord as well. Oh, I thought they were talking about me. No, no, I, I can see what you're oh. doing. Yeah, I'll turn it on for invites. But I leave that off, too, because I don't like people seeing what I'm doing. Snooping on me. Makes me uncomfortable. Am I even going to get this done in this stream? I'm starting to question if I will. <laughs> like, sincerely, I'm starting to wonder if I'll get all this done tonight. Oh, this game too, Ginger, has yeah. color, blind, color blindness mode. See, typically those don't do a lot for me. Like, it almost never helps. Not that I've seen, anyways. Probably just a placebo. huh? I mean, my color vision's great. I flip-flop shit sometimes, but... I mean, to me, everything looks normal. And I honestly always find myself wishing I could paint. Because I would love to be, like, really good at painting and just make some Picasso-level shit with my fucked-up color vision. Like, choose the colors that I like and just paint. It would be you fucking should. amazing. I, I, I'm terrible. Like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Do a, do a portrait of me. Of you? Ah, like I don't know how to do any of that, Marcus. I'm not good at it. I wouldn't even know where to start. No, excuse me. Have you ever seen some of those real old valuable paintings? Yeah, they, they were made by good. not they me. They weren't that good at it either. Fair enough. Fair enough, Marcus. Maybe I'll give it a shot one day. I already told the wife I'm gonna start I'm gonna start music next. So she's like, follow your dreams, dear. Now I gotta learn how to mix music, Marcus, because that's that's what I wanna do next. Yeehaw. I told you about that software program. You yeah, yeah, it. no, but I I wanna I wanna mix from the ground up. I wanna do it all myself. What do you mean mix? Like, make the soundtrack, make the music, and then put words over the music. 
So, in other words, you're gonna play instruments and that kind of thing. Oh no, I'll just use like a like a program and do it from that. Like that's not making music. It's mixing music, Marcus. I'm mixing There's a big it. Difference. I said mix. Like I'm making a cake. Okay, I'm mixing. Don't don't ever call yourself an artist. That's oh, God, son of a bitch. The artist in my words, Marcus. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, I, it could go somewhere. I kind of like the horrorcore style of music, so I'll probably just make some some stuff like that. I, I prefer that. The yelling, I'm mad at the world type of music. It's my favorite kind lately. We're going to come back for that spot, I guess, eventually. Or do we get it now? Do we get it now? Yeah, let's 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 go like this. Lock that down. Marcus, are the police going by your house? Uh, no, sir. You missed that spot, by the way. What spot? Looks good over here. You know, Marcus, I was legitimately looking forward to Park Attack, but now that you're trashing my music and my art artistic abilities, I'm not I'm not sure how I feel anymore. Well, I don't know. Okay, I okay, I guess that's what's in question. I mean, this theoretical do music actually, of mine. Do you have artistic abilities? I I'd, I'd like to think that I'm somewhat entertaining, Marcus. That's an that's and an art form. A lot of people would. Um, but again, I'm not, I, like I told you, I'm neither a pessimist or an optimist. I'm well, a well, well, we all know what you did when you took your trash down the driveway. Oh, that was just classic art in its true sense right there. I, it was just like expressionless form, Marcus. Expressionless. You made the Victorian era look like the best age of our time. Which, I mean, let's face it, it was. You can't top it, Marcus. Why are you even trying? Marcus. Yes, sir. I, I, I control the fireworks in Park Attack. It's an art form. I thought you didn't want to play with me. Uh, did, you agreed we'd do it, Marcus. I don't know why you're backing out now. No, you said just a little bit ago you don't think you wanted to play with me. You don't want to believe in my hypothetical musical talent, Marcus. Like, what am I to do? Well, mixing music is not exactly... I, mean, I don't really consider that to be too much talent. Dude, I'll show you the program once I find $500 to buy it. Okay, do it without a program is my point. Do it without the program? I mean... Do it with instruments. Write some music. I used to be uh, pretty good at percussion. At Maybe what? I can come back at to that. What? Percussion. Hey, I, I was good at... I was good at the kazoo. We still can't say that that we're artistic, though. I had a drum set once upon a time. I did, too, actually. I had a little like, kid's drum set. I had a full-size adult drum I, set. Uh, I also had a kazoo. You were that one-man band, weren't you, Marcus? You are like, what's no, his name? Never, and Mary Poppins, never. walking around with the drum and the cymbals and the, <laughs> the horns on your knees. Yeah, good old Dick Van Dyke. I, I knew it would come to me. You know, he's 92 now. And he's still alive. Yeah, uh, yes, he is. He's, uh, he's had a good wife, life, man. Like, I think his wife's like 30 years younger than him. But um, he's, uh, they actually, two years ago, Disney did like his 90th birthday, a big celebration there for him. That's really he's cool. He's actually in pretty darn good shape. I saw him years. dancing in something in his 80s, and I was like, damn, son. Uh, he was, uh, he was very, now, okay, there's a guy that was very talented. Yeah, I'm not comparing myself to Dick Van Dyke, Margaret. Don't put no words in my mouth. But I, I think, I think maybe the music could could be something. I don't know what I'm gonna scream about yet, but I'll figure something out. Well, go ahead, Ginger. Sing us a few bars. I don't sing anything, Marcus. Go on, go on. I, I need to layer my voice. Go on, I don't little, sound good in my natural state. Give a little me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> you be a do re mi fa <laughs> do re fuck yourself 
<laughs> That's pretty good. It's classic, classic talent. Well, as long as I can control the fireworks, Marcus, Architect's still in the books. Marcus. Sounds like fun. You get to light off fireworks, I'm stuck building paths. You get to build the, the special delivery roads. What's up, Max? Give give me... Give, what's up? Give me... No, never. Never. Marcus doesn't deserve a break. He was trashing my musical abilities. Thank you, Max. Them, them's fighting words. I accidentally just put straw everywhere. <laughs> Dang it. Ginger, did you ever, like, sing in a choir or anything like that? I did the boot scoot and boogie back in second grade. Well, give us a few bars of that. Come on. I know. I forgot it. Actually, my wife would say I'm lying. Every time it comes on the radio, I sing it. I know every single word to it. Second grade choir, baby. We, got, we all got cowboy boots just for that. Like, my mom bought me a pair just for the choir show. I wore those things till they broke in half, man. I wore those things so long. That's good. Timeless music. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know, Marcus. I haven't even thought of any words yet. Maybe one day. See, Marcus, why can't you just be like my wife and tell me to follow my dreams? That's what the wife said to me. Your wife is an optimist. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't know. She. I mean, I'd, I'd say I'd like to say she's a realist. I I've always felt you know you follow your dreams, you know after you get home from work. Oh well, I'm home from work right now, Marcus. I know. I I know. I'm I'm saying that that's. You know, I, was, I I've known a couple people that followed their dreams. They ended up back in their you know parents' house because they could. The parents were sending them money when they were in their late twenties still. Cause well, I've got like, that taken care of. My parents live across the street, so I'm good to go. Because they, they were out in California. They live across the street. Following their dreams. I'm good. I'm good. They're they're right there, Marcus. Speaking of, I'm actually a little worried about my mama. She's had. Just some kind of like cold slash flu thing, not COVID, and it's kind of maybe turned into pneumonia. She'll find out. She has a checkup on Tuesday. Hopefully, it's not yeah. pneumonia. No, you, but good thing you caught it right away. Yeah, and she's she's doing good. My dad takes good care of her. She's doing better, but yeah, she's had it rough the past week. Hopefully, she keeps on recovering. That's nice. You guys live right by them. Yeah. Marcus's audio should be higher. No, I keep Marcus turned down so he doesn't outshine the. Star of the show. <laughs> uh, I can't I, even I take myself to, seriously. You know what? He's right too. I meant to mention that to you the last couple times. Uh, I noticed you turned my voice down. Quite no, a bit. you're at 145 percent, Marcus. I'm always turning yeah, you. It's, I, I, you. It's his loud ass harvester. You, you don't want. Yeah, that's what you don't want. You don't want Marcus to them to hear Marcus. I think you mute me once in a while too. Nah, I would never. I would never. I would never. I would never. Purposefully and maliciously mute you. You know, if we start a podcast, that ain't gonna fly no more. I think it's just the game sound, honestly. You sound great to me in my headphones. So I don't know what it could be. Say something now, Marcus. Marcus! Yes, sir. I'm here. Yes. Okay, um, good. Ginger has talent. How's that? I mean, it could be misconstrued for some kind of, like, pornographic show, but I'll let it slide. We Ginger, need to call our podcast Ginger. Not Ginger, Ginger has talent. The, the Ginger and Marcus show. <laughs> the Ginger and Marcus show. That's pretty good. I like, I like it. It's got a ring to it. It's got a mighty good ring to it. I 
I don't know. I don't know what we'd call it. What would you call it, Marcus? Uh, I'd call it the Marcus and Ginger Show. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> I don't know. I played your sidekick long enough. Uh, no. no. No, no, I'd be fine. No, I'd be fine playing the, uh, playing your Ed McMahon. Yes, that just sir. means a, a really good co-host, co-host, right? You're a great co-host, Marcus. You know, Marcus, you once promised me that you would learn the entire Willy Wonka speech when they drank the fizzy lifting drinks and you would you would recite it for us on stream one day that's that's yet to happen yet to happen marcus did i really you promised me you said let me look up the words and learn it let me rehearse it a little bit and then i'll i'll say the willy wonka speech when, when they drank the fizzy lifting drink yeah like from the original you're from the original about. yeah yeah like you get nothing zilch nada oh, oh dude yeah remember? remember yeah you gotta get it together marcus gonna have to happen like in park attack that's, that's where it came where he said uh, good day sir good day sir and then he said that they kept talking he's like i said good day sir yeah <laughs> the best oh i love that old school willy wonka movie man so much better than the the reboot whatever the heck that craziness oh, was yeah. you, i mean you couldn't beat gene wilder in that no that never never excellent. Was it what was it phenomenal excellent? Marcus, what are you saying? You're making up words. Was it phenomenal or excellent? Marcus? I think I said phenexcellent, didn't I? <laughs> I don't know. But it's right it's out there with smelsicles. Phenomenal and <laughs> smelsicles. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's a combination between phenomenal and excellent. I I suppose so. We're stuck with it now. We're going to have to have a, a dictionary of words for the podcast. Smasticles. Yeah, I, I say phenoxalent. I think I said phenoxalent. Phenoxalent. Yeah, Mark, wait, was it Marcus that didn't want to switch to this game and stay on Ranch Simulator? Yeah, Marcus wanted to play Ranch Simulator and not play this. Because Ranch Simulator it just has so much content to play. So much content. Ginger, I've, I've been watching you mow a field of stuff. What is this? Straw, hay, wheat? It's grain. I am feeding okay. people. I am making been, bread, making flour. I've been watching you mow grain for two hours now. I'm sorry. I'll still, I, I still just don't see the ex excitement. I'm having good fun, man. I mean, and after this part, is done, I got to make bales. I got to make straw bales. Yeehaw. It's, the, the, all the equipment, being able to drive it and stuff is cool. So it's I'll great. Zoom into the cock, cockpit for a Co minute. What? What? Rewind and freeze. What? Marcus, zoom into the cock cockpit. Uh, what let me, what the hell would that be? What I What's have, a cock cockpit? You got to understand, Ginger. My brain works four times faster than my my than I can get the words out. I mean, so, so sometimes I have a little bit of trouble, and I would hope you would understand <laughs> getting the words out properly. When I slow my brain down a little bit, I can articulate quite a bit better. You know what, Marcus? I, I, I feel you there. I, I'm pretty sure I'm ADD. Don't need a diagnosis. Fuck that bullshit. Don't need a label. But yeah, my brain works differently too. I, I'm I'm typically very fast, like always thinking, never slowing down. So what I said was, could you zoom into the go first person? So we can see the cockpit? I can, but it lags. So now it's really loud, and the game is frozen, Marcus. Thank you. Thank you for that, Marcus. Max, this is this is prime content, man. It doesn't get any better than this. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. You happy, Marcus? I can't even see what I'm doing anymore. See, Max is a realist, also. Max, is, this is great, man. This is this is prime time. I, I, worthy content. This, this I would pay money to see this. <laughs> <laughs> Just like I would pay money to see Marcus dance to Footloose while he pushes a trash can. But I mean, who are we telling? Man, Marcus, he almost broke everything. Thank you. Thank you for your understanding, Max. No membership required. 
Sorry, Marcus. I don't, I don't know what to say. Marcus, where'd you go? I just wanted to respond to Max. Oh, okay. I'll allow it. I think... I think Max is insulting you too, Marcus, because he's spelling Marcus with a C. I know, that's and why not with a K. Max. Oh! That's why oh, got him. <laughs> got him! Got <laughs> him! Oh, that's too good. I was waiting to see if he picked it. <laughs> One oh, nice thing man. About, about not playing with you, Ginger, and just talking is I can keep up with reading the chat logs. Right, and you can let me know if I missed something. That's, just, that's always pleasant all right so we dump I out like this what Max load says he's like this is really boring <laughs> <laughs> son of a bitch yeah try watching it for two hours straight it's 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 a classic american pastime farm simulator it's like playing civilization the coolest thing about it is all that equipment they got in the game it is cool i would love to drive that stuff for realsies yeah I mean, yeah me most too i've ever ridden i drove front loaders and but i never got to drive real big Equipment. You know what's real cool? Are those like, did you ever see that Earth? Those Earth movers? That'd be a cool game to have. Yeah, yeah, Max, that's in the works. Um, we're thinking of the Marcus and Ginger show. Also, the Marcus and Ginger show is another possibility. Marcus is too scared to do a face camera though, so I don't know how far we'll get. It's not that I'm scared to do it. I would do it. I would just have to do a proper setup with a mic and all that. Yeah, then that would involve me driving to Ohio to make sure you don't fuck it up. I mean. Come on up, man. Yeah, yeah. I'd, ha I'd have to, I'd have to visit. It'd be a business trip. I'd have to be like, okay, let me make sure Max can plug things in, or Marcus can plug things you. in. I promise you, you'll be leaving with a hangover. <laughs> better, better just take a Uber. The whole fucking way. How much do you think an eight-hour Uber would cost? Probably a lot. Max, I don't hold that against you at all. Other people have spelled it, misspelled it. I'm going to misspell it. When I get the logo made, Marcus, it's going to be the Marcus and Ginger show, but I'll give you a Marcus with a C instead of a K. Your name would be first, but spelled wrong. No, I don't like that. <laughs> you I, don't I'm like very... that idea. <laughs> okay, then make it Ginger with a J. <laughs> oh, dude. That would be too funny. $500? That's not terrible. I suppose if the show's uh, gotten that big, Marcus, I'll take the Uber. About an eight, it's an eight hour, no, eight hour Uber ride? I bet it'd be, well, I think it'd be more than that, wouldn't it? Actually, no, when they, they connected some roads, so it's about six hours these days. Oh, really? Yeah, they, they, they changed the highway a little bit. And it even happened when, the, like, you know, we used to live in Indiana, and we would drive back and forth to come visit the family. And it got to a point where the, sh the trip, the driving portion of the trip was about six and a half hours on 390 miles. So they, they definitely, like, reconnected something somewhere, and it just made the trip more pleasant. 390, and that's to Indiana? Yeah, we lived up by the Great Lake, like, like Michigan. Okay. It might have been more like 420 miles, but, yeah. Good times, good trip. Oh, shit. There we go. Finally getting done what we need to here. Take your chances with the ride share on Craigslist. Now that's entertainment. Max, through and through. I mean, if it really goes places, Marcus, you're going to have to move to Tennessee. Uh, it still shows 7 hours and 47 minute drive. Okay. Well, it must be. Oh, wait. Yeah, you know what? I'm thinking like where my brother lives, but you live a little past my brother. What's up, CJ? It's August. Yeah. Is he near, he near Cincinnati or Columbus? Um, He's uh, Dayton. I thought okay, you said geez. yesterday I could put it to August, CJ. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dayton's like two hours. <laughs> okay. 
Or like going going towards Tennessee two hours? Yeah, it'd be go yeah, going towards Tennessee, but about Oh, two okay. That's why I'm thinking less time. Yeah, you live further into I'm, Ohio. I'm right on yeah, like right on Lake Erie. Have you ever been oh you're on Lake Erie. What's that town up there? Sandusky? Oh, I'm like twenty minutes from Lake Erie. Yeah, that's about forty five from here. Okay. See, we've been to Sandusky a few times. They've got all the vacation y crap there. Like the indoor uh, water Cedar parks. Point. Yeah. Cedar Point. Cedar Point, uh, the Kalahari. We've been to Kalahari. We've been to the Great Wolf Lodge. We never did Cedar Point, but we did the Great Wolf Lodge twice, and we did Kalahari once. They were all fun. They were all good. Oh, okay, <laughs> CJ. I like how you're like, August. <laughs> what? Oh, man. So what would we do with this podcast, Marcus? Would we actually just talk? Would we... um? Would it just be audio? Like, what would we do? I don't know. I thought of different things. We, uh, we could do, like, you know, current events kind of stuff if we wanted. I don't know how we, much we wanted to get into that. And current event, Man, it would could, never go well. Do we do just a comedy show? Do we do everything? Comedy? And everything, I mean, and everything that just comes to our head? Yeah, do we play some kind of a cheesy game while we're doing it? Just as long as the game title is not cock Cockpit, I'd, I'd be okay with no, that. No, it would have to be a game that doesn't require much playing. Okay. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's uh, we we we'll figure it out. It, it seems like it needs to happen. Everybody, we voted on it in the stream recently too, and everybody said yes, it needs to happen. Of course, there were only two yes answers. So I mean, either way, the emperor's always right. But I mean, yeah. Canola is worth a lot more. Maybe we just need to do canola next. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Max. Be comfortable. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think we'd have a lot of fun with it, Marcus. I think it'd be really good. What say you, sir? Uh, it'll be worth a try. Yep. We need a new channel, though. The Marcus and Ginger, or the Ginger yeah, and Marcus you'd to, show? You'd have to keep it separate from this one. Yeah, no, like, this one's all about video games, and I wouldn't want to intermingle too much. I do agree there. It's going to be two more lines, isn't it? Son of a gun, dude. We could just call it, like, the Max and Blader show. We <laughs> could just make up shit. Just, like, just pick people from the stream to name it. Right. <laughs> Just pick random names out of the stream. And it changes every episode. Yeah. Yeah, it, it would be separate, though, because we really wouldn't want to cross it up with um, the games too much. Gosh. This, this is a tease. Marcus, you see what's happening here? You see this tiny little line I have left to go over? Uh-huh. Oh, man. Oh, man. I need a bigger harvester. At least I won't have to do another... Like, I'll be able to fill this hopper up, probably. Or pretty nearly, so that's good. I'm going to disable the, the straw swath with last... No, I'll use the straw swath, so... Hey, Ginger? Yes, dear. You've literally been mowing straw. I am harvesting for grain. Two, for harvesting two, grain. Hey, you've been harvesting grain for literally two hours straight. It's not my fault that they planted this much damn grain. I mean, I honestly can't wait for your kids to come and want to say goodnight. Just to, That's already happened. I look forward to taking my garbage out today. You understand that? <laughs> well, I'm about to make hay bales. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Right, the suspense now. <laughs> I got a new machine. It's really good. You naughty naughty, you teasing me. <laughs> Marcus, dear. <laughs> oh, man. What to call the podcast, Marcus? I have no clue. No clue at all. Do you have any idea, sir? 
Uh, no, I, we, we don't. We didn't even talk about what format we would put it on. Would it just be like podcast format or YouTube? Or yeah, what? I mean, probably we'd do. We'd upload it to the big podcast platforms, and there's a couple, and then it would still be like a YouTube audio as well. We'd get some kind of background going on, just something simple. But I think I think if it's if it starts to do well, it would move towards video. It's important to have that aspect these days. Who would you want to interview first, Marcus? When we become a big podcast, like who would we interview? Oh, dude, if we'd interview Trippy or Blader. No, like we we're we're a big channel, Marcus. You can interview a famous person. Yet. No, no, hypothetically, what... something with Empire. Hypothetically, I don't know who would yeah. you want. I'd say Chris Pratt. I'm just picking names out of the air. I, I, who I, the I, heck is he? Chris Pratt. He's uh, the 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 he's, he's Star Lord, man. How you not know who the fuck Star Lord is? I still don't know who he is. Guardians of the Galaxy, Star Lord. Oh, that dude. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and he's in the new Jurassic World movies. I think he's a cool guy. I'd I'm dreaming big. You, honestly, I'd rather interview Blader. You'd rather interview Blader, okay? I'll let him know. Bladar, we gotta fly you from Italy to Ohio. Gotta be in I person. Mean, write that off as a business expense. A business expense. He could tell us what a mess our studio is. Hey, he, do you really? Would Bladar really get a work visa to come here and just do a podcast with us? I, I mean, could he do a podcast on a tourist visa? We're not paying he him. He's just a guest. So I don't think he. I don't think he needs one. He doesn't need a tourist visa. He just needs a passport. Do you, if you're coming here to... Marcus, you ever been out of the country? You need a tourist visa. Yeah, I've been to Canada. That was enough for me. What are you doing during your stay, sir? In Canada, I was gambling. What, you don't like Chris Pratt, CJ? What is wrong with everybody? No, I agree with CJ. I Son don't of a even bitch. know who he is. You know. No pay? It's it's a pleasure cruise, Bladar. Oh, I mean, do you like him, CJ? You're just yelling at Marcus for not knowing who the hell? Okay, yeah. See, we're same page. Oh, jeez. Am I stuck? Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Whew. I guess I could have just tabbed to the next or, vehicle, too. hey, if we get big enough and we make some money, we, we'll do it remotely. We'll go to the interview in there. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Right, exactly. Bladar, ask for more money. Yeah, Bladar, ask for more money. You're worth more, Bladar. You're the star. Oh, jeez, I almost crashed the bales, too. Well, who would you interview, Marcus? Marcus. It it would all depend what topic we'd want to be talking about. Just pop what culture. To, Cardi pop B. Culture? Nicki Minaj. Okay. LeBron James. Co none of the, none uh, Sha of the Shaquille O'Neal. None of them so far. None Shaquille of them. maybe. Maybe Shaquille. I would I would I would interview Shaq. I think that'd be cool. He's a, he seems like a really cool guy. He, Magic he Johnson. Magic Johnson would be good. Oh, Magic. Good old Magic Johnson. Uh, Larry Bird's not the greatest interviewer, but you know who is? Is Kevin McHale. He does good interviews. He always tells funny stories. Right on time, Shifty. I'm done with the field work. Ginger, I'm assuming this is going to be a 50-50 venture. 50-50 venture? I... You may sit on the council, but I do not grant you the rank of master, Marcus. Forget it, then. <laughs> no, 50-50. Let me quote Star Sith Wars in peace. Then I'll just turn into a Sith Lord and my whole empire will strike back. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Something with the name Empire could be good. How big do these bales get? I think this thing broke. 11,000? 
They really get that big? I thought it was like 7,500. Good evening, Shifty. I think that thing was on the fritz there. Yes, welcome, Shifty. We got 141,962 liters of wheat. Did they change how much this machine holds, maybe? They may have changed how much this machine holds. I feel like that's a bigger bale than what I was looting yesterday, even. Marcus, I need a name. Come on, Marcus. Marcus. We need a name. For the podcast? Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to think about that. I mean, you don't the, just want to think up a name and go with it. Yeah, that's that's how I live life, what do Marcus. We are? What do we are? An 80s band? What, what do we are? Is that the name of the band? Who done it? I don't know. I don't know, Marcus. I don't know. I think they must have changed this machine. Let me look. These items. Did we buy this thing outright? Yeah, we must have. Jeez. Son of a bitch. Marginal? At best, yes. We should just make this, the podcast name extremely long, Marcus, so no one forgets it. Are these things all 11,000 yesterday? I'm so lost now. No, they look way different over there. I don't even know anymore. You go marginal, you need to stay edgy. I don't even know that. We're, we're already edgy. Marcus listens to Footloose. I mean, that's, that's pretty edgy. Right, Marcus? Uh, honestly, I haven't. I really, I mean, I used to listen to music all the time. Now, I really don't listen to it much. Mm -hmm. Like, you name some groups or singers, and I may may have heard of them, but I couldn't. A lot of times I couldn't tell you what they sing. Right. That's a really big hay bale. Really big. Really big hay bale. Footloose is boomer. Yeah. Marcus is boomer. No, Footloose is. Oh, that's yeah, a, that's yeah. now we got the start of something. Something. The Boomer and the Millennial podcast done. Am I Millennial? Are you Boomer? You know what? Are you Boomer? Not a, no, no, sir. What are you? You got you Millennials all think that it's Boomers and Millennials. You don't realize there's a whole generation in the middle of you called Gen uh, X. Gen X, Gen, Gen X. Am I a Millennial? Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, you're a Millennial. Oh yeah. Because oh, it yeah. started. It started. Eighty-eight was the first year for Millennials, wasn't it? I think so. Look, look it up, Marcus. Well, there's too many different variations of it. Yeah. Typically, those born, I thought, was I thought those born in '84 and after were millennials. I can't remember. Can you Can you Google, please, sir? No, because it, it's going to be different. It all depends on who's conducting the survey. Son of a the, bitch! The, the, 
the idea of how long a generation is is different per per like survey and everything that they do so well why everybody's just a boomer then well maybe typically from what i heard you gen xers were born in like from i don't think it was 68 to 84 or something like that or 64 to 84 maybe all i know is that you had fred durst and you you were the best generation no fred fred durst was already yeah they that was even like after he was, was gen like, x though yeah he was but his music wasn't gen x that was pushing in toward the millennials that's when it started changing i thought he did good marcus sounds marcus. like he's lived through the cold <laughs> oh, war son oh, of a bitch he did i was i was hey i remember growing up it was ronald reagan he was the president he did live through the cold war there's an ant on my ceiling on my wall there you go. There's the, there's the podcast name. There's an ant on my wall. Done. Done, Marcus. We're done. All set. Cold War, and I remember that. I remember Desert Storm when that was happening. I was like in 10th grade, I think. Yeah, see, these are 7,500. How the... What the... Yeah, they changed this machine, or it's bugging out or something, because now it's making even bigger bales. Whatever. Yeah, he's like, uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 yeah, I know who you mean. Who's what does that? that mean? It was ranch. What does that mean? He's talking about a show. Who's that old guy, 80s actor with the big old handlebar mustache? What's What's his name? Sam Elliott. You're Sam Elliott, Marcus. So you sound like, right? I want to know how these bales are so fucking big, dude. I must have said it set to the wrong size the other day. Yeah, those 7500s were the mid-size. Okay. I fucked it up then. Do you classify yourself as a Sam Elliott, Marcus? Good old Sam Elliott. No, sir. No, no, no sir. That he sounds exactly to, like he would, what he Sam would Elliott would say. Generation names. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this can't be real. Alternative name. Alternative generation names. All right. So, Gen Z. Also known as the Snowflake Generation, <laughs> two thousand to twenty twenty. <laughs> I think that's I think that's kind of a fact, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's calling them snowflakes is more uh, slang, obviously. Yeah. But I I think they call them something else. They call them Gen Z, but there's some, there's another name for them too. So a millennial is seventy seven to ninety five. Also potentially referred to as Gen Y or Gen M E. Echo Boomers, Peter Pan Generation. Yeah, people just making shit up. So you're Gen X. Baby Busters, Gen Xers, 13ers. I don't think anybody says those. 65 latch to 70. Key, latch key kids, they call them. Yeah, them. 65 to 76. How old were you when the Berlin Wall came down, Marcus? Uh, let me think. You were probably a young adult by then. I would think anyways. Uh, no, I was, well, I was, uh, I was in high school already. Was that 89? Yeah, 89 or 90. And you were born um, in 70? I was born in, no, 75. 75, okay. See, giving you a little too much credit there, apparently, Marcus. I think it was, yeah, I think it was 89. Okay. It, it was, um. So you would have been, like, senior year. Sh shortly after Reagan said, Mr. Gorbachev, take that wall down. Yeehaw. You grew up in a in a nice time, Marcus. Truly. Uh, I'd go back. <laughs> I'd go back at a heartbeat. Who wouldn't? Max was born ninety one. Have you never been complimented on your voice on the internet? What, Marcus? No, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I, people comment on Marcus's voice a lot. 
He's definitely got the, the talk show voice down. More so than me. I'll give you credit there, Marcus. Marcus Steer. Yes, sir. Did you know I have a lovely broadcast voice? Yeah, yeah. You yes, you better yeah, tell Max I, thank you, Marcus. I'm using this as practice. I'm trying to warm up these golden pipes for when we do a, a podcast. Yes. If there was any one song that you could sing right now, what would it be? What's up, uh, Adam? The only thing I could ever get away with would be like some kind of a Johnny Cash or something. There you go. Sounds good. No, we're still here for a bit, Adam. We got a, we got a little bit. Not a lot, but I'm going to try and get some of this straw baling done. And the straw prices are still pretty nasty today, I think. Uh, Adam, ever get well. a, uh, his computer fixed? Or yeah, Adam. Yeah, Adam, did you get your computer worked on, man? Or get it updated or whatever you were wanting to do? And then Max as well. I think Max can Max's computer had didn't, issues too. Didn't didn't Adam fry a board or something? I think I that was Adam Max. Did, Max did? Okay. I think it was Max. Come on, Marcus. You're here all the damn time. You're regular. You're a regular guest star. Xbox and phone at the moment. Okay. Ouch, brother. No PC. Okay. Yikes. So Marcus, this is going pretty fast since I can do bales that hold 11,000 liters apiece. They're filling up quick. Which is good. Really good. As you can see here, we tend to get a bale near the middle and then a bale near the end and then we reboot and do it again. What do you think about that, Marcus? Uh, if nothing else, it's routine. Very true. We farmed a million liters of grain today. It was a good day. Do you feel, Ginger, more secure playing a game like this where it's very routine, very mundane? No, I just enjoy the money aspect. Because you know someone's not going to gank you or... I mean, I'm sorry, by now I would have ran into you about four or five times with another tractor just to... Just to... <laughs> Marcus, just because you don't like it doesn't mean somebody else doesn't like it. I may pay the, what is it, 40 bucks to buy the game just to run the tractor into you once in a while. If you would get on here, I'd build a giant ramp and we'd ramp off the mountains together. It would be glorious, Marcus. Ants on a wall, Marcus. That's the podcast name. We're not even a fly on the wall. We're ants on the wall. In this big, cruel world, Marcus. I think that's pretty good. Now, if you were back in the 80s as a little toddler, you would have had a game called Ants in Your Pants. I've heard of it. I believe it was made by the same company that made cooties. Yeah, I mean, they always look similar. But yeah, I've heard of it. Maybe you even played it. I mean, I was 
born in 88, so. If you think about it, Marcus, we're not that far apart in age. See, when you were born, I'd have been like in 8th grade, I think. Okay, maybe eighth, a little bit more eighth, further apart than I thought. 8th or ninth grade? Yeah, I mean, what, what, is, what are we, 15 years apart? Uh, what are you? 33? No, uh, 13, yeah. 13, yeah, okay. Lucky number. Feels like more. Like, you definitely... You, you were a kid in such a different time frame than I was a kid. And it definitely just leaves different impressions. I can, I can see that for sure. Let's dive into this a bit, shall we? Sure, Marcus. Like how, like how Ginger? Like how? I don't know. You grew up during Reagan being president. I don't even think I was like around at all when Reagan was president. Uh, if you were born '88, that was his last year. In last year, okay. Well, not something I'd remember. Well, like no, I was born when I was born. Actually, Gerald Ford was president. Yeah, I don't okay. remember him. Right, uh, right. Briefly after that was four years of Jimmy Carter. Really? So it was yeah. Reagan and then Bush, Senior, then two terms of Clinton. Right. Correct. Yes. All right. Okay. Now, if you can name who they ran against back in the day, I'd be impressed. I don't know, man. Didn't Bush run against Al Gore? Or Al Gore that dropped was, out? That was George. No, that was George Bush Jr. His yeah. first term. Yeah. Right. Okay. Against Gore. I I never kept up with it. Oh. <sighs> Uh, when we lived in Indiana, we lived in the town of Portage, and we were voting not only for, like, we voted for local elections, because the school board out there was having a lot of drama, a lot of fucking melodramatic cockamamie bullshit, so we voted that, and then we voted, I think, for, I think it was midterm, so we were voting for not only federal level, but also state senators. And um, the town lost our fucking votes. They lost votes to a lot of people, and it turned into this huge ordeal. And we just kind of haven't given a shit about voting since then, because it, just, it pisses me off, man. People are, like... It, 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 that's all it takes to fuck something up. People, quote, lose things or whatever the fuck. You know, it's a bunch of fucking bullshit. It truly is. You still there, Marcus? Surprisingly, yes. Are you still hating on the content here, Marcus? Come on, man. Not hating on it. Uh, no, 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 no. I've given us like three different podcast names. You're over there like, I don't like hay bales. I mean, if it wasn't for this coffee, I'd have fallen asleep already. Yeah, I have put you to sleep before, so I mean, that's credit where credit's due. You, you did point. a couple times, actually. That's a fair point. I, don't think, I really don't think it was your fault, though. I think I was just tired and drinking too much. That'll get you going, too. Sometimes that is relative. Sometimes it's old age. Sometimes it's the in-between. Speaking of, of, of that, though, Marcus, did you wind up ordering yourself that Christmas gift earlier today? You were shop shopping some outdoor gear. Did you wind up doing that or no? I did, yes. Oh, cool. Very nice. I did, but I have to tell you, I ordered it from somewhere else. Ah, ha, ha. I knew it. The reason why was I had a choice of colors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know and the brand I you mean. Preferred, yeah. I preferred the black handled one. It was the same yep. price. And, and I to even think. Looked back to see to if think. They offered I was going to send you my spare. I still have one in the package. I was thinking about sending it to you, Marcus. But no, now, I, I don't know. I give don't know. It, give, it, give it to your wife as a Christmas present. She's got so many of my knives at this point, dude. It's not even funny. They're coming out of my ears, give man. It, give it to your boy when he gets old enough. Yeah, I might save it for him. That's a good point. Or even one of the girls. My eldest keeps asking when she can have a knife, and I'm like, well, when you settle down a little bit, because... When you learn to cook, why else would you need a knife? 
I mean, she's just a little too, I won't say spazzy, hey, but oh, go back. No, I can't. It's too late. She's not really spazzy, but she's just a little too quick in her movements, and she wouldn't be quite safe enough, even with, like, a really basic starter knife. She's just not there yet. How old is she? Five. Uh, isn't, isn't eight kind of the recommended age? I think so, yeah. She keeps asking. She wants to be cool like me. Cool like her dad. So, yeah, that's something to look forward to. I think I was 10 before I got my first one. I think I was like seven or eight. Yeah. Um, it's like one of those deals where like one blade was maybe busted or something. Or... Mm. They've got some nice trainer knives these days that are just like plastic. That can be fun to learn on. So Shifty was here and then he jumped off, didn't he? He was here and I heard him too. I think yeah. he and he, oh, he maybe disappeared. Maybe he crashed again. I don't know. Potentially, yeah. He says, okay, he just posted trying to get online, updating really slow. Gah, so slow. Okay. So, so he's yeah, here, he's but he's just, yeah. he's home, he's trying to chill out. What, what's funny, Bladar? So Marcus, you just messaged me and said you had a, a name idea for the podcast. Why don't you say it out loud? No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You said, I no, got a great podcast name. Yeehaw. Why do you make stuff up like that? It's the truth. Why do you why do you lie when the truth is so handy? Because I need you to to just I need you to be jump started, Marcus, trying to jolt you into thinking up a name. <laughs> Speaking of jolts, Marcus, remember that episode of Mythbusters where they made the fake Ark of the Covenant and they put the cow fence on it and just zapped the shit out of Adam and he about lost his fucking mind? Oh uh, they Oh yeah. dude, he was so pissed. That was like the most awkward moment on Mythbusters ever. Two Americans trying to podcast. Is that the name? <laughs> I'm sorry it didn't work, Marcus. I tried to shock you into just, just like spitting out something. Didn't work. I tried. I got it. Marcus, I got it. I got to Google and see if it exists. Fucking fuck. I wonder if we can say that. What? Oh, no. Okay. We, we might have to censor it. I can't say it on stream, Marcus, because it's just too fucking good. I think what we do is we both make a list of, say, like 10 names or so. And then share the names with each other because it might be end up being a combination of a couple mm -hmm. of them or something like that. Hey, I, I sent you the idea. That's pretty good. There's a couple that are like similar variants on the on the internet, but and we'd have to censor it because we couldn't have that as the name. I don't think we'd have to <laughs> we'd have to do like a, a, an asterisk or something. It's good, Marcus. It's good, right? I feel like that's good. Keep it secret, keep it safe, Marcus. A lot of bales here, man, damn. The only thing is, is with a name like that, they're going to say, which one of you is bourbon? <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Can you have a vote on the name? Yeah, we, we'll maybe set up a vote for, like, our top three. Uh, Max, I think that could be cool. We could post it on just the Gempire channel. We're open to suggestions, though. We are open to suggestions. This Marcus can't think of anything. You know, Marcus, I think that's I think that needs to be how like we take it real easy on the alcohol Marcus, but we just we nurse a drink the whole the whole podcast. I think that would just really help the flow. At least initially. Do I need Discord on phone again? I I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Come on down. Uh, it all depends. We 
I kind of like when we do like one night where we just kind of cut loose like that, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah. you do more or less, you know. So I, I try to limit it a little bit, but yeah, it typically gets you, out of hand. You are typically, for being a big fella, you are lightweight. It's not my fault, Marcus. I have a chronic condition. It's offensive. Out in the, Marcus, I don't know how I feel about that. You know you know about my condition, Marcus. It's not my, it's out of my control. You're, you're like the drunk chicks from high school. It's... They have like, uh, I literally a have a chronic like, oh health gosh, condition. So chronic <laughs> health condition. I can't. I can't hold my liquor. Literally, it's a chronic health condition. Marcus. I think it's great. It's a lot funner. It's just a, no, 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 Marcus. Just let all my health problems out of the bag, why don't you? I didn't say it. I didn't say it. <laughs> You're making fun. That's enough. I'm making fun of you when you don't have <laughs> when you have half a can of an alcoholic beverage. It's, it's eight percent. It kicks. It's a fucking racehorse. Well, that's equivalent to a beer, then. Okay. The beers are like five and a half. I know, but half a can of that would be. Son of a bitch! Take a hike, Marcus. Take a lap. How long is this gonna take, man? I'm I'm good. I'm I'm so over it. I'm not even. I'm not cleaning up these bales. <laughs> I'm bailing everything that I'm done. I don't even know if I'll get done here. Oh, buddy. Don't end it now, man. 15 more minutes and you've got three hours. Yeehaw! Yeah, I'll probably kill it around the three-hour mark. Curious if the wife just went to soak in the tub alone. She probably did. She probably wants some damn peace and tranquility. I've actually gotten a decent amount of laundry done since you've been doing this. Oh, I forgot you did your own laundry. Speaking of laundry, my wife told me I was I was spoiled when she met me because my mommy still did my laundry and I was in my twenties. I was like, I don't know, that's what moms do. Isn't that what moms do? She's like, hell no, I did my laundry since I was like eight damn years old. Did uh, you tell her it's because she's a woman? <laughs> no, I didn't want to fucking die. <laughs> Come on, if they can't find that funny, you know, I mean, it's a joke, it's funny, you know, that's, well, that's I'll, like, I'll, let's, I'll tell her and see what she says. She probably won't like, think it's funny, but my knee-jerk reaction is to say, I don't want to die, because that's also fucking funny. <laughs> I, anytime I hear, like, guy banter where women tell, say stuff about, I find it funny. I find it, you know, usually I find it funny anyway. Yeah. No, man, you were... No, I was spoiled. Damn, son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot changed when I met my wife, honestly. Like, she definitely yeah, rounded no, she me out quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing ever changes. You know what? Can I tell you something? I may be a Gen Xer, but you are closer to a boomer than I am. Never. You are. Because I know a lot of boomers. Their wives do their laundry. Their wives cook their meals for them. They go to work. Like, that's how they live. That's. I'm definitely are, above are, a boomer. I work a, from home full time. I know. A, boomers don't work from home. Young, redheaded boomer. There, no. I said. No. I All said right. We're, we're back to Ginger and Marcus podcast, 9000 as a street. As I a think name. we're going to be like the boomer and millennial. You're going to be the boomer. <laughs> love has the power to, of, of change. Yeah, that's right. See, Marcus, love has the power of change. Why are you being so rude? Damn, Marcus. Let's go. Yeah, let's go get this line over here before Marcus has a coronary. Let's get that all cleaned up. There we go, Marcus. Happy. Are you happy now, sir? Yeah. See? I knew it. I knew it, Marcus. Techno boomer. There you go. There's, there's the podcast name. I got no good ideas, Marcus, honestly. I'm drawing a blank. Hey, you know what else I do? I do dishes, too. You know that... I'm actually, do I'm you... actually very... Especially lately, the last six months or so, I've been becoming very domesticated. You do know what a dishwasher is, right? You, do you, yeah. Do you use one of those? Well, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I okay. love the dishwasher. I push the buttons on it. Nice. Good job. Good but job, Marcus. I'm, imp also put him I'm away impressed. In, I'm impressed. In the dishwasher. Ah, too much effort. I wonder if I'm going to get any hay off this last row here since it's so split up. <laughs> you drive, drive like a drunk farmer. Yeah. 
Hand wash is better than dishwash, Marcus. You should know this. You gotta scrub them uh, to get them clean. Some things I do hand wash, actually. Well, shit. Like life, my lifetime cookware, um, you know, that kind of stuff. Shifty, I don't know if I'm gonna finish all this straw or not. It's gonna be close. I've been at this for hours. Fill the silo? I mean, the thing holds like 4 million liters, right? Which silo do we have? 400,000. Okay, no, it's about... A quarter full? I don't, I don't know. We have 141,000 in it. Yeah, I guess almost half full. Dude, we didn't... The, the yield was not that good. Like, the other fields have a lot of rocks in them, and I think that killed it for us. Uh, 38 is just jam-packed full of rocks, and I think that just messed us up big time. Yeah, I'm a drunk farmer. Yeah, there's not much in this this row here, dude. Yeah, there's insane amounts of rocks. Look at that. I'm barely getting 80 out of this, dude. Holy vey. Gotta go to open C and see what I got. Did they get revealed? Oh, wow. You got a whole nother field next to you. Marcus, I don't want to hear about it. Oh boy, we're gonna be here all night watching you <laughs> I'm at my, the grain. I'm at my point where <laughs> I'm at my limit a little bit. I'm a little tired of it. Son of a Come bitch. On, Gigi. You got thirteen minutes to go. To I can make it that far. I can make it that far. I'll deal with that all after stream. No, I mean, it already was, already was in rows. I don't want to use 50 different machines when I'm, like, right here and done with it. Pick up the bales and you make more? Okay, I'll just, I'll leave this here. Yeet. 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 Yeet, 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 yeet. Yeet, yeet. But let me go sell these real quick, because they're the wrong freaking size. Ginger, have you ever played Pong? Yes. Okay. It's an American Ma classic. Imagine if Pong, if you only hit the wall and it came back to you, you didn't hit, like, wait for another path. Okay. That's what this reminds me of. Marcus. I mean, oh, you want honesty? Hold you want your breath until you turn blue, Marcus. Damn. I'm not gonna. You want me to candy coat it? Oh, wow. This is great, man. I'm really enjoying watching. I mean, you said earlier that these hay bales look like cinnamon rolls. No, I said they look like yellow marshmallows. Oh, you said well. Cinnamon rolls. well, son of a bitch. And when you said cinnamon rolls, I said, looks like they left a lot of the cinnamon out of it. Yeah, I mean, that's a fair observation. Oh, shoot. Marcus, remind me, I know I've asked this before, but do you, do you collect silver? Uh, I've got a little stash of it. A little stash, yeah, me too. Um, I kind of like it actually. I prefer. I actually, I prefer it over gold. Yeah, me too. I prefer hey, it over you ever crypto. Follow it? They say they say silver. They've been saying it for years though. How it's supposed to break out of its shell, like it's supposed yeah, to. Yeah, uh, believe it when I see it. Of, yeah, but, but you know, all the the reason why it hasn't is strictly market manipulation. Oh That's yeah, why it ain't never gonna go anywhere. Um, I'm glad you said that too. Let me check silver and gold prices. All right, you ready for all this money? Big money, baby. That's not bad, Why actually. I ever, every time I put in some type of a search, some some rap video comes up. Is this what you were looking for? What's the video? Uh, silver and gold. There's a rap video about silver and gold? Apparently, yeah. You sure it's not a Christmas video? There, I had to put silver and gold prices. That could still be a rap video. Yeah, it could be. 
All right, I'm not selling any more straw today. Shifty, I just sold that because they were the wrong size bales. So I'm going to just pick up everything. We'll hold it until the straw price goes back up to about 90. It's just way too low right now. But I sold those because we just didn't. Yeah, it's really low at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'd be like, what the hell? Yeah. The silver's like actually yeah, down CJ. 22, 2256 mm -hmm. pounds. Yet if you dig around, the cost, like the how much people are selling for is still up. I, I don't know what kind of crazy manipulation it is, but depends. it's nuts. Okay, it's it nuts. where you're buying from, too. Yeah, it's bad in Tennessee because there's there's you have to there's tax on bullion in Tennessee, but not in Indiana. You're actually always better going to a local silver and gold shop. Yep, not a I do. Shop, I a do. Local actual silver and gold. Yeah. And you are one note. Usually they only take cash, no paper trail. The other one there is, is uh, you don't pay as much of a uh, uh, premium. Premium thing. Yes. Yes. See, I know the collecting words too, Marcus. Yeah, I. I don't have a lot, not over 50, but more than 25. You know, they got the Dow Jones, the S&P, they got the Daisy Jones, work, crude work. oil, okay. all that. Yep. This might be a full stack, man. Yeah, yeah, Shifty, we'll sell all these when the price goes back to like 90. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, jeez. Are you entertained now, Marcus? Are you entertained yeah, no. now, Marcus? Oh, I'm, I'm getting into it now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you almost flipped it. I wish I had. I, I would love to recreate the bug that can happen. I'll, I'll try again in a bit here. Uh-oh. So you're stuck now, Ginger. No, I'm good. I'm good. You're in the past, so we're set here. These bales are fucking huge. Shifty's on. I see in the machine. Yeah, he is. What's going on with Shifty's Discord? Why does it disconnect him? I'm not positive what occurs. No, I just wonder sometimes if it's an. Because I used to have with some games, I used to have audio issues where I couldn't overlay Discord on top of a game. I yeah, I think it's something like that. Something like that. Like, I know most of it, a lot of it can be fixed by running Discord as an administrator. Yeah, I've been having my Discord crash a lot. Oh, okay. Look at that off road tractor, yeehaw. There we go. Got him. The gap of time is huge between big TV and phone. Uh, yeah. The, the update got rid of my key binding type change, man. Oh, no, that sucks. And how was work, Shifty? You good, man? Yeah, I did uh, two mid mountain runs uh, today. Nice. Better skiing, and uh, tomorrow I get to take one of my employees and tell me he can't ski for a week. What did he do? He uh, abandoned. When we ski down from mid mountain, it's very important as employees on the clock that we ski down together in groups. And when I tapped out and I put him up there because he's the most experienced guy to bring my other two crew down, he was supposed to help finish closing down the, uh, the mid mountain lodge and then ski down with them. Not only did he not help them, he stood outside and drank a Red Bull. He abandoned them halfway down and shot into the trees. Did he get hurt? No, no. He, he was just, just like wanted to said, go fuck right off. in the trees. Oh, okay. Um, and that is a huge safety issue. Yeah. And to make him understand, he won't be riding any, uh, on the clock for a week. Take that, Mr. Red Bull. I'd give, I'd give him a spanking as well. Well, you know, when I let my, my manager know about it, he was even a little more hotter than me. And, uh, he thinks I'm going a little bit light on him, but I... You know, I hopefully will will get an attitude change change by him. If not, he's he's gone, done. You're out. Out, am I? 
So this straw, if we sell it on a high straw day, Shifty, this is going to be pretty valuable. I can't believe you left all of these rows, man. I didn't want to win, Drew. I was too damn lazy. Oh, my God. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, we're going to totally de-rock this thing out uh, before I totally see the rocks now. Yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to cultivate and then do rock, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Max and CJ. So this guy just, like, went off on his own and didn't take care of junior team members like he should have. Exactly. Like, zero team play mindset, which is a big no-no, especially when you're trying to educate, like, junior employees on the mountain on how to nav the mountain correctly etc like it's a big deal to take care of your team yeah i understood that too shifty i was like damn yeah Red flag. I, i'm really disappointed because he really knows better are you gonna start with a gentle approach and be like well yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna find out what he thought i was sending him up there for Right. But I was pretty clear in my instructions. Take care of the team. Yeah. See, the, there were a lot of rows on this side, but since they were so big, it wasn't as big of a chore as it's going to be over there. I didn't even think of that. I could have maybe just driven in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that probably would have been worse. Oh, uh, that'd be just horrible. Yeah. So these bales are 11,000 liters each, dude. They're huge. Oh, wait, no. You left the bales big, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Okay. Uh, looks like they're 180. Is that yeah. big? Yeah, that's the, right. big, that's the biggest size. Uh, CJ, we just need to break the ground. I don't even know what the ground needs here. Needs weeds and needs rolling. So we need something to split the ground up. We can't even get the rock like this, I don't think. Like the ground needs split. I'm gonna be right back after I grab this bale too. Shifty, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'll be right back. So, Shifty, you got a good amount of snow on the mountains? What's that, Mark? Be right back, guys. You have a good amount of snow on the mountains. Uh, we're getting there. Um, we need another another dump to really get uh, good coverage. But it was really dry and nice today. I'll be posting some more pictures on uh, Beautiful Day so you can see what it's like. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah, those ones you posted were very nice. And mountain range is gorgeous. Yeah, those are of the, the mid-mountain lodge. All right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm going to have to go in a minute here, guys. Can't skip bad. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Max. Thank you, citizen. You should have a citizen cane. Yeah, it would it would be the $99 subscribe like membership rank. But it would be citizen ginger. Hey, I'm gonna have to go, guys. Uh you guys take it easy. Have a good night. I'll probably come back and you guys will probably be off by then. All right. Well, hey, I'll Marcus, take care of this tonight. I'll finish, you know, making all the bales, but yeah. I do have to get some sleep. Yeah, not a problem. I'm going to have to go here in a minute, too. I'm going to talk the stream out, and I'll be right back. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take off for the night. It was good fun. We'll be back tomorrow, not sure with what. Y'all take care, have a great night, and I will see you soon. Good night.